Hey, hey, we made it on time today. I was late yesterday. I'm sorry. Let me know if you guys can hear me. I got no chance to do any kind of sound test today because we were a little bit busy. Um, but how's everybody doing tonight? Happy Wednesday. Happy end of the mastermind work week. Um, hey. we, we we made it. This is the end of... <laughs> what does this guy just do? <laughs> we, we, we're into week seven. So surprisingly on Wednesday, there's a lot of people still in the office. Everyone coming to say hi. These are, uh, if you're new, these are mastermind, uh, uh, these are mastermind, what's it called? Um, uh, regulars, per regulars. se. Like regulars. Yeah. Uh, they've both been on here a lot. Um, just hanging out. We, we like to have fun here. This is the best part about working in the co-working space as well is just, you get to just hang out with people, talk to a lot of people. That's how I got distracted before this. That's why I didn't get to uh, do any sound checks. So I'm glad I sound good. What's up, SVJR18? How you doing tonight? Welcome. Um, tonight, let's talk about what we're going to be doing tonight. So I wait for I'll give people a few more minutes to talk about that. Uh, what's up, 88 Opus? No slides tonight. Um, we are going to. I'll, I'll talk you through what we're going to do. Um, I'll talk you what we're, th- we're going to do. We're gonna we're gonna make some cool stuff. Uh, we are, we're in, we're in Baltimore. Uh, we're actually in Spark, uh, Spark, Baltimore, uh, co-working space out of Baltimore. Um, pretty, pretty dope place. Um, yeah, that's where we, that's where we are currently. What's up? Uh, name is Doug Zero. How you doing tonight? All right. Let's see. Whoops. This is not the Academy site. Oh, why does it take it so long to load? Do I have bad internet? Um, maybe it was. All right, so head over to Academy site, uh, figure out what we're gonna learn tonight. Tonight is gonna be our scripting um, with Python Lab. Um, so tonight's gonna be tonight's gonna be fun. A David Simon fan? I don't know if I even know who that is. Let me. Uh, is that is that a famous oh, person? David Simon. He's funny. Simon. He's really funny. Maybe I know who it is. Oh oh oh! oh, oh. I know this guy. Totally different. Um, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I I did like the wire. <laughs> I, I did, I did. There's a movie. Seven hundred miles away. Um, yeah. He he did the, he did this he did that. Wait, Charm City. No, no, no. Oh yeah. I just found out about that movie, Charm City Kings. Oh yeah, David Simon. I maybe I am. Maybe, maybe I am now. I I like I said. I know the the wire. What else did he do? Uh, he was a writer. I think for the Baltimore Sun. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna check out. Was, okay, I seen Generation Kill. I have seen this. Yeah, sure. I love the wire. I <laughs> think it's the best show. I mean, so I don't think. I gotta be honest. I love the wire. I do think Breaking Bad edges out the wire to me. Just, just a bit, like just a, a teensy tiny bit. I mean, the wire is great. Why? Why? <sighs> Explain yourself. All right, all right, all right. Well, this is good. This is good. Explain myself. I, I think it does because one, so uh, my dad was was a teacher thirty years. So to watch the, I think watching the, like the flow and like the the watching the transformation of Walter White, I think I think it was a little more real to me because mm. like my dad was a teacher. I don't know. I just, it just it just the the transformation of that one person like watching that happen. Uh, I don't know. It just captivated me just a little bit more. But yeah. the wire, the wire was great. Like the wire was amazing. And I only accept a few. There's only like four shows that I'll accept. It's like the best shows of all time. And it's got to be either the wire. It's got to be the wire. Uh, Breaking Bad. I will. I will accept. Um, I will accept Game of Thrones, even though it's not true. It's just simply not true. But <laughs> but I will accept it because of the way it ended. Um, Fresh Prince. No. Not fresh prince. Yeah, so fresh prince. De- definitely not fresh prince. Um, oh, I might take I might take like the Sopranos because uh, the Sopranos was, like did did the real amazing like TV like HBO TV drama kind of first. Mm-hmm. So I might take the Sopranos, um, but there aren't there aren't many that I mean if it's not basically one of those I can't take it. But yeah, the Metamorphosis of Walter, of Walter White is I don't know it's 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 something great. Uh, but tonight we're gonna be doing a we've gotten through so much stuff. We're gonna be scripting in Python. So uh, I'm gonna be, uh, 
Uh, I, yeah, Game of Thrones, good show, definitely good show. I, I enjoyed my way through it, but the last season just took it right off the list of things that could be uh, considered the best shows, best dramas of all time. That one, that one last season. Yeah, I mean, and, and I enjoy and I enjoyed it. It just it just took it away from elite status and brought it down a little bit. Oh, wow. But um, I, I'm gonna be honest with you tonight. I actually thought I had an amazing. Um, I had an amazing scenario planned out. Um, I was actually gonna, we were actually going to use uh, Twitch's APIs to grab a bunch of analytics data and do some some interesting um, uh, processing of it, um, some cool stuff. Um, but I learned last minute that uh, not last minute, but um, I actually never tested it out. I never actually tested out Axon Twitch's API, but Twitch has a new API and then. Oh, they have a new version of their API, an old version of their API, and there was going to be some major complications with that. Uh, maybe we can hop into what those complications were later, but do have a different scenario that we're going to go through tonight, um, which I think should be, it should be fine, a little more practical to uh, what we're doing. I know someone came on the other night and asked about uh, processing a bunch of things that were in CSVs, et cetera. Um, have a little scenario that we're going to work through, and we're going to just keep adding on and see how much we can get through tonight, how 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 much automation we can put in place. And again, these are this is something that you may be able to apply to things you're doing day to day uh, right now. So we're going to be doing that. And then next week, uh, starting Monday, we're going to hop into the cool stuff. So you don't know, you don't know it yet, but you've been doing a lot of things. Most of the things you've been doing have been dealing with objects. Um, but you're going to learn specifically about the concept of object oriented programming. Uh, Python is an object, object oriented programming language. Uh, so we're going to be learning about classes and all these things and objects, how they work, uh, how you interact with them. Uh, and it's really going to like learning these things is really going to extend what we can do with Python uh, moving forward and the ease of which we can do things. So that'll be pretty great. Uh, and then we'll like, we'll do a little bit of uh, algorithm stuff. And then we're just gonna be building projects for uh, two straight weeks. We'll just be building projects. Um, and then we'll talk about how you can, you know, how you take this stuff, synthesize it and, uh, and, and grow with it and use it to get a job. We'll have a engineering panel. Same thing we did last year, um, a, a whole different suite of people. Um, so this year is actually great because we'll have engineering panels two nights in a row. So we'll have one for both the DevOps course and the Python course. So check us out the 23rd uh, and the 24th. It will have two different, um, it'll have two different, completely different panels. There may be a little bit of overlap. You probably see this guy on there. You would definitely <laughs> see this guy. But, um, for sure. but we'll have two different, um, panels um there's gonna be people of all backgrounds uh on there so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be, fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be we have a little bit better we have a little bit better setup this year uh for it um some some things have kind of come together to make it uh, a little more interesting so i'm hoping it'll be uh i don't know hoping it'll be a lot a lot better of a of a, of a thing this year so a lot of cool stuff going on uh with that so let's uh we'll give people two more minutes to kind of just relax get in get your dinner <laughs> You know, we can we can just we can talk a little more more about David Simon or your favorite shows um, just just to kind of get in, relax and get ready. And then we'll just we'll start moving through some moving through some automation and just kind of learning how we can start applying the skills that we've learned so far into uh, in our daily lives and, and automating things that you may be doing on a on a daily basis. What's up, Bit Money? Uh, here for Python. I'm here for Python, too, even though well, we're here for Python three, not Python Two, even though I meant T O O, but uh, Python Two is not a thing anymore. That's a dad but uh, it's definitely a dad. A dad. Joke. Yeah, call me Papa. <laughs> that was a dad joke. That was definitely a dad joke. Uh, but here for Python. What's up, uh, Como? K. Okay. Yeah, Como. Welcome, welcome. Um, good to see you. All right, let's open up some files because I'm gonna I'm gonna type these things. I'm gonna type out what we're actually doing so that we can put this in GitHub since. The original plans didn't work out quite as well as I wanted them to. Let's move this up one. And because we're mostly gonna be inside of the, uh, inside of our editor tonight, um, we'll make this on the main stage. Usually the editor goes below the uh, the browser, but we'll be mostly inside of here. So that's what we'll do tonight. Um, let's go ahead and get to where we wanna go. Let's start getting set up. Uh, mastermind streams. Python, and we'll call this scripting lab, scripting lab. All right, let's 
So I'm gonna make, we're gonna make a readme first. Just to talk about what we're gonna be doing. Um, so here is the scenario. And I think the fun thing about tonight is gonna be, uh, we're gonna start off where you're gonna learn how to do a few different things. Uh, so you're definitely gonna learn how to, you're, you're gonna learn more concepts than what you already know so far. So that'd be nice, but you also get to put into practice the things that you've learned so far. But uh, what I want to do tonight is if you if you come across uh, the scenario is going to be a random scenario. Uh, but if you come across anything that you think would be fun, that would be beneficial in the scenario that you think um, uh, would be interesting to automate or interesting to, for us to try to do, shout it out. Maybe we'll we'll, we'll change course. We'll uh, we'll see where we end up, but um, we'll get to we're we'll going to do some fun stuff. But here is the the, the very uh, light start of the or, the or the light intro to what our scenario is. So the intro to our scenario is you, all of us, you, the collective you, but um, you as an individual, you have uh, started started a, 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 a business, a social, you started a social movement uh, and you're gaining traction now. So you you got your website up, everything's looking good. You got your, you know, people people log on to your website or they, or they sign on to your website, they go to your website and you know, five seconds in you get the pop-up box. You want people to subscribe to your newsletter um, or sign up to get ready for your newsletter that's not out yet. Your newsletter is not, it's not ready, but um, you want people to subscribe to it. But uh, you were, you're a little too cheap to, sign up for something like MailChimp or some service to manage your email accounts and, and do all of that for you. Um, so basically you've kind of set this thing up. So people are entering their email address uh, and you, but you are capturing those things. You're capturing them to a text file. Um, and that's what you have every day. You just, you simply are getting a text file um, and it's saved somewhere. You guys, if you're watching the, if you're watching the DevOps portion of these things, uh, it maybe it ends up in an S3 bucket or ends up somewhere. This this file ends up somewhere, and somehow every day you are pulling this thing down to your computer. Maybe it gets emailed to you. Maybe you're downloading it. Whatever. All we know is that we have every single day uh, we are receiving a full list of email addresses from all the people who are interested in getting information about whatever the thing that we're doing, the thing that's made us so famous recently. Um, people are people are interested in what's coming after that. So. Um, what we want to do is we want to we want to take this list and we want to be able to um, put in some automation to uh, have things done to handle some of the daily tasks that, that we may want to do. Like now that we're actually, you know, making progress on our business, uh, we, we, we want to add in things that help us to move forward with it. So um, the first thing we're going to do is. Well, so let's, let's just kind of talk about some of the things that you might want to do. Maybe, you know, you have this big list of emails we're going to generate. We're going to use a website to generate a huge list of emails. We'll start with a small number. We'll try to generate a big number. Uh, one of the problems is because we're not using one of these fancy email services that will handle this stuff for us. We need to do things like uh, maybe somebody has come to your site three or four times and uh, put their email in for any reason. I don't know why they would do that, but put their email in a few times. You don't have any handling for that. So you have a list that may uh, contain duplicates. Uh, so maybe we can check for something like that. Something commonly you would do, um, in intake, uh, or, or any kind of, uh, extract, transform and load scripts using Python would be to clean, to clean a bit of data, normalizing data. So we're gonna do a little bit of data normalization. We want to make sure we don't have any duplicates. We want to make sure that if someone put their email in, you know, capitalized, uh, and then put it in later, you know, lowercase that things are good there. Uh, so we kind of want to normalize that data and make sure we have a list of unique uh, email addresses so that we're not emailing people over and over again uh, the same way. Then what we want to do is because we just have this list of emails, uh, we don't want to, we haven't started doing anything yet, but maybe we're sending a welcome email. Um, maybe we've already emailed people this welcome email and we don't want to resend this welcome email to everyone that comes along. Um, so um, maybe we can put in some automation to check check against yesterday's list. So uh, maybe we can check against the previous day's list to figure out what email addresses are our new email addresses. Like how many email addresses are we getting that are new? Um, and maybe we can use that information. We can start, you know, aggregating that information, saving that information to start to figure out kind of you know, what kind of traffic we're getting, how many new people are signing up per day. Uh, and again, these are things that would come by default if you would just sign up for a nice 
uh, email list service. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but you, you, you want to know these things. You want to know what kind of traction you're getting. You want to know how many new people you're getting. Your weekly average, your monthly averages, your daily, you know, your daily uh, numbers and things like that. Statistics. So we can check for things like that. We can also do things like uh, maybe we're working on spark, uh, sponsorships and partnerships and. We are, uh, they, they're looking for specific data from us, or maybe they want to know, you know, what kind of email addresses people are using. Are people using Gmail or Hotmail or are people from businesses? So they have their own individual email addresses. We can, we can start to gather information and give ourselves some readouts and things uh, from that, all from a simple email list. Uh, so today we're going to start just throwing in some automation that can get us to a point that where we can take this email list in daily and we can make our lives a lot easier. Um, yeah, we can, we can make our lives a lot easier uh, through it by writing ourselves a nice little Python script. Now, worth noting, we're not trying to create the best Python script in the world. I'm yes, going to, we are. Well, I'm going to actively, I'm going to actively show you, um, even when we start to, at the very beginning, when we start to pull in this, uh, this list of email addresses into our code, we're not going to do it, um, in the most efficient way possible. We're going to be slightly explicit in most things that we do. Um, and then we can talk about uh, making them more concise using, you know, again, uh, I guess tools like list comprehensions and things like that. Uh, but I want to be explicit in the things that we're doing first. Um, and I want to do that because I think it will help again people who are new to this to really understand what we're doing so we're going to be explicit so don't sweat it if we're doing if you see me do something you're like oh my gosh like that's too many lines of code don't don't sweat it we'll, we'll, we'll get there we will definitely get there so pretty simple so let's start writing what we're doing um just number one we'll fill we'll fill in the scenario in a bit but number one what are we going to do uh the first thing we want to do is simple uh we got the let's, let's say we have our email list downloaded Email list is downloaded. Uh, let's say the first thing we want to do is simply, uh, we need to uh, import the email addresses in the list uh, into our Python script. All right, so this is a good first task. Um, teach us a couple of different concepts. Uh, we are going to, so let's actually, let's just generate the list first before we talk about what we're gonna do here. And so I'm literally just gonna Google, uh, I know there's an email, a random email generator. I've seen them before. Um, we're gonna pick a, we'll, we'll open up a couple of them, let's see. We'll see which one will generate us a list. Uh, I think I have a, so tell me how many, generate Gmails, the Gmail generator, nope. Uh, I don't want that one. I think this one was good, but it did not. Um, I think I've seen this one before, but it doesn't generate you a list. No big, either way, we'll get one in a second. Um, I actually think I have one. One second. I found one like 10 minutes ago that I thought was cool. Didn't use it, but it looked like it generated me a list. Let's do that first. Whenever you can, go ahead and use the simplest of things that you have. And, um, ah, here we go. Faux ID. Faux ID is what we want. All right. We'll paste this in. So I'll paste this in the chat in case anyone wants to use this. This is a, I, 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 I don't know if this site is safe. <laughs> Disclaimer, <laughs> no, I just, just don't, I don't know if there's a there's malware on here. Uh, it might give you a computer coronavirus, <laughs> but uh, there is, a, it looks like I can just simply, you know, copy in, uh, co to paste in a number of emails that I want uh, between one and 1,000. So 1,000 is the most, no big deal, because we can do it a couple times if we need more than that. No big deal, 1,000 sounds good. We're gonna start with 500. Let's start with 500. And let's go ahead and have this generate us 500 uh, random emails. We got them all in here. I'm gonna highlight them. All you had to do is click inside. And I'm gonna copy, whoa, reset, no. Reset the zoom. I guess because it was scrolling still. All right. 
So I have this list. So our list every day is just gonna be downloaded as a text file. So let's go ahead and let's create a text file in here. So we're gonna, bam, let's call it what? Emails.txt. Pretty simple, self-explanatory name. Uh, this is the list that our site's collecting. Every day is simply appending to this list. So we got 500 things here. Luckily, we can, our, my Vim is set up to show us, you know, line numbers. So we can see that it actually goes down to line 501. Looks like there's a new line at the bottom. We're gonna leave that in for now because I think it'll be, I think it'll be nice to clean that during the cleaning process. Um, and let's see, it actually is a, there is actually an empty item down here and that's why I got copied in. So cool. So I got 500 items here. We're gonna actually make this list much larger, but we'll start with this. So let's say every single day, <laughs> You've already automated this. You, you have a little script on your computer. Simply downloads this email.txt file um, to your local computer. Now let's go ahead and start our uh, our our whatever our script is. So we'll call this um, we'll call this uh, processor processor.py. So we're going to start a pro, uh, uh, we're going to create a file called processor.py and this processor.py is going to as for right now a processor.py mm, you know what we're going to do yeah processor.py is going to be the file that runs all of our stuff uh all of our things. We'll we'll do some extra magic to kind of practice some of the things that we've learned over the past few weeks. So, we're going to vim processor.py and we'll put a little uh thing up here, a little um comment up here that says this is the main script. This, well, let's say this. Uh, no. Hmm. This is the main script file. We'll change those words, but just, I'll just put something at the top, just letting you all know what it is. Um, I find that it is uh, scripts in particular. So. You may be asking what is a script as opposed to an application? Nothing really. Um, generally people refer to scripts um, as applications that basically do um, a, a, a an, an exact number or exact, uh, a very exact function of tasks. Uh, generally people associated with uh, dealing with things on the, uh, that, that interact with the operating system. So again, things like uh, mess like intaking and messing with files and things like that. There's really no difference between an application and, and a script. They they are they're both code. It's the same thing. Uh, generally, it's the structure of it though. Like the applica larger application design uh, might take into account different things, and it's written in a way that's not so uh, in order um, generally. Um, but you can also write scripts, and we we're probably going to do this here uh, that aren't so kind of like a like a, a a line item like run by run line by line to complete a task um but again generally if there's something that you need it to happen uh over and over again daily or something like that generally people just call those scripts these are little applications nothing really special here uh but yeah so this is the main script file so the first thing we need to do is uh if we look at our whoops we look at our readme let's keep our readme up Um, we need to import the email address in the list, um, into our Python script. So let's think about, we can look up how to do that in a second, but let's think about, um, let's think about the, let's look at the list first. Let's do we create the list. Um, I'm pretty sure we created the list already. Um, and maybe we can escape. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Uh, let's take a look at this list really quick. Um, if you take a look at the, the emails at TXT, we got a bunch of individual emails. Um, think about what we have available to us. So we can pull these into, we can pull these into our script, but think about the things that we have available to us to help us manage 
these emails? Like, what, what, what can we use to do this? You're probably thinking pretty smart and you're thinking one of our uh, data structures. Um, you're thinking of some kind of data structure. We need to, use, we should use some kind of data structure to help us manage this data because data structures are things that we have available to us to do exactly that, to make uh, managing, managing and manipulating data a lot easier. Um, so we could use a lot of different things for this. Uh, these are going to be a, a collection basically of individual email addresses. So what are things that can take collections? Again, we know that there are lists, uh, so we could use a list and those are square brackets. And we know that there are tuples, um, which are, you know, you have your uh, parentheses. Um, the difference between list and tuples is we know that tuples are basically lists that are immutable that can't change. So we can't add things to them, et cetera. I actually ever use it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I have used one. Oh, I, there are times when you, not many. I, I right. not many. I think I've used it twice in my whole nine year career, bro. Like, lists are <laughs> lists are used by far. So we're just, we're gonna use a list. Uh, we're gonna use a list again. But there are some options. There are some other options here. Maybe if we had some other data. Maybe if we had something like um, both email and birth date or something, maybe we could use a dictionary or something. I don't know. Who knows? I'm um, not not sure why we do that actually, but. Sure, uh, we're gonna use a list to do this. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna be able to intake this information into our Python program and, and, and really put it into a list. So let's let's figure out how we can do that first piece. Um, and so again, you don't know what to do? What do you do? You simply Google it. What's up, uh, Aiden Mig 8 welcome. Thank you for the follow, welcome to the channel. Um, so simple, we can say something like, uh, first off, we learned how you can um, open up a file. Um, we'll, we'll do that in a second, but we'll just Google uh, how to, uh, how to import text file in Python, I don't know. Something like this. Um, if we find things that I don't like, then I'll just tell you how to do it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see what we have here in, um, in this. So we already know how to open a file. We already know that we can use this open command. We just learned about that last time. So let's go ahead and let's let's start with that. Let's let's get in our, our open here. So we're gonna vim our processor. Whoa, oh, we never saved it. I forgot, we never saved that processor file. So vim it. Um, and you can do an open, um, and then you can do with open. You can give it, you know, the file name. Uh, we know that we have an emails.txt file here, um, and then we learned that the open command. And maybe we can go to W three schools really quick. But we know that the open command uh, takes some opening modes. You can open it up, uh, or maybe that's the right command. Actually, let's let's uh, hold on. Let's go to here. W three schools. See, everyone gets confused every now and then. <laughs> um, uh, learn Python. You should be referencing these things. You should get real good at referencing stuff like this. Um, so Python. Why, where is, uh, where are all my options here? Oh, the uh, file permission option? Yeah, where they at? They were in a different place yesterday. Mm. That's fine. Check this out. I mean, I know I can just open it, but I want to see what the modes are. Uh, if it, if it's just for this. W3 schools, Python, uh, file, handling. There we go. Um, All right, so yeah, the open does have the, uh, does the parameters, it can take two parameters, it can take the mode. So we wanna open it up. Um, to read is by default, and we wanna we wanna import. Basically, we're trying to import this into our file. So read is what we're gonna wanna do. We don't wanna append anything to it, write to it. We don't wanna mess with this file right now. Uh, we just wanna get this information into our script so that we can um, we can go through and we can figure some stuff out. What's up, Zay Smelly? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. But um. Yeah, so we just want to read the file. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the open command to kind of read that file and see what we get. Um, so let's start with just that. We don't need to add any extra. Um, let's look at what they have here for open. You know, set it equal to a variable. Go ahead and set it equal to a variable. And then we'll try to print it out. Let's see. So, um, so we'll set it to uh, emails equals. Uh, so that should be a list. Um, but we know that when we print this out, it's gonna come out 
as not a list, uh, but let's go ahead and print it out. Print out emails. All right, save it. Python three. We'll run our processor.py. And we printed out, we saw this yesterday. Uh, where we um, got basically this IO text wrapper. We got this this object here uh, from the read um, and to print it out exactly what we have in here. What is it? I think we have to add a dot read uh, method to it. That feels right to be able to read that type of object here. And look at that. Oh, nice. We have all of our lists of emails all in one place, um, which is really, really nice. So we didn't do things perfectly yet, um, but everything's looking good so far. Um, everything's looking good so far. I wonder, uh, just messing around, um, I wonder what else, what other kind of methods we could put on this. I wonder if we can see how many items are in here. I wonder if the length method will work on this. I, I have no idea, actually. It should. It I, a list. I don't, yeah, I don't know what read returns. Um, we could have checked that as well. But ooh, so yeah. that looks like a lot. It, it works, what? but that's probably characters. Uh, Eleven thousand five hundred and forty-six. We already know that there are only five hundred and one items in this list currently. Uh, but okay, interesting. That was very interesting. Just wanted to check that yeah, out. Dot length. Uh, uh, is up. is that a thing? The... Is that length a thing in Python? Oh, it might be confusing programming languages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad I do this all the time. I don't. I don't think this is a thing. But yeah. Program like three things. Yeah, that's what Lynn, uh, what Lynn does. All right, cool. So we're able to see that we are pulling the stuff in now. Um, but this this isn't what um, this isn't really what we want. I wonder if we can. I wonder what happens. Can we typecast this to a list? We said we wanted to be a list. Let's see if we can typecast this to a list. This is also something. I just I don't know if this works. It just feels like it might actually work. But let's just see what happens if we try to print it. No, we try to typecast it to a list. It uh, it actually splits every single character, which is interesting. So it does actually work. It makes it a list. It does in fact make it a list, but it splits up all the characters. So excellent, all good. That's not what we want. We just wanted to practice and see what's going on. So let's let's talk about where we are right now. We have successfully. Import. Uh, we've opened up. All we've done is open up the emails.txt file uh, and set that to the value of the variable emails, uh, and then we were able to print that out. So we know that open is working properly. Um, so that's great. But uh, we want to get this into a data structure. We want to get these emails into a data structure that we can use effectively to kind of perform the actions that we want to perform. And the best way for us to do that is actually. Um, the best way for us is to actually use a loop. Um, and here's how we're going to do that. Um, because of the way that uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Uh, we learned last time we learned about read versus read line, read line or read an individual line one by one. You could do that. But again, we're going to be as explicit as possible right now. Um, and here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to show you something new. Um, I'm going to show you the width. Uh, command, um, and this is, we could actually do a while here or a for loop, uh, to, to achieve this, um, to achieve all this, but we're going to do, um, with this, with, with, with this thing open, um, as emails. So this is, this is almost the same thing. This is very similar to like, uh, setting emails. Equal, it's 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 like the same thing as emails is equal to this, but it's it's almost like a while um, in there, um, and so we're basically gonna say with this open as email. So we learned about as we learned about the import. We learned you can do like import uh, os as uh, thing, and it basically sets up an alias. That's what this is here, right here. Yes, it does set it. It's you got it, Como. It sets it as an alias. So uh, it says, so now everything that's in here, th this thing right here, which, which is open, is going to be alias now to email. So kind of the same thing that we had before, um, but now we can go ahead and this is this is kind of a, a for loop basically. Um, it's almost like a for i in, and actually we may be able to do a for i in in a second. I'll check, but we can we can do line uh, equals an empty 
we, we can start out with this. Um, or let's say, not even lines, let's say, uh, let's say uh, email list. Email list equals an empty list. Again, we're gonna be really explicit here. Got an empty list here. We're gonna say, we're gonna set up our empty list. We could put this up top. Doesn't really matter. We'll put it in here though. And then we're gonna do our for loop. And we're gonna say, with this open, we don't need this, with this. I just wanted to introduce you to something new. Um, but we're gonna say with this open, and I'll do it in a different way so it makes a little more sense uh, without it. Um, we're gonna say for email, whoops, whoa. Caps lock, email in uh, emails. So basically it's saying iterate, this for loop is saying iterate through emails for every item basically in emails, every line in emails basically, um, go ahead and add, go ahead. And, uh, so actually let's start with this. Let's, let's actually comment out this line. We'll build on it. Let's just say we want to print out everything. We already printed out everything line by line. Um, but using a, using a for loop in this way, let's go ahead and print out email instead. So we're gonna say for every line, basically in emails, go ahead and print out that email. So we're gonna, we're gonna run this. And it's gonna it's gonna work. It's gonna go through. It's gonna print out everything one by one. And notice that there's a space in between everything here. We've learned a little bit about uh, what, what kind of causes things like that. Uh, there are new line characters in here. We'll see those in a little bit. That's basically what's causing these spaces. But uh, we at least know now that we are that this for loop is going through. It's iterating through each item that is in this emails.txt. So how do we add, we set up this empty list right here. How do we get things into, from, uh, how do we get things into a list? How do we add things to a list? We add those using the append method. Uh, so we're gonna say email list dot append. So we're gonna, Append, append means, you know, adding something to the end. And again, this is an empty list. So we're gonna start adding items into it. So um, let's go to, let's say append, uh, and we wanna append an email, whatever that line is, which is this email, we wanna pin that to the list. That's what we're gonna pin to the list. So let's do this, let's just do this. Um, let's do, Let's do this with just a few items, just to see if we're doing it right. Uh, email list. I'm gonna print out email list. Should be able to get the length on that guy. But yeah, I can definitely get the length on this. But let's say we want to just do it. Uh, this is another cool thing, uh, especially if you're, especially if you're, you know, working on a program or something, and maybe it takes a lot of data, and you want to see if it works. Uh, you can because emails, because this emails thing here um, is is a collection of items. Uh, you can use because it's iterable you can use indexes to determine how many it goes up to or slices so i can say up to uh maybe 10 items uh so let's go from zero to ten uh so it actually give me 11 i believe or or it's not inclusive of 10 so it'll go through zero to nine and so instead of going through all the emails it'll just run through 10. so we can check to see if the first 10 are going to get added to the list so let's let's go ahead and see and actually you're right let's let's also check the length of that just just for fun just for fun how do we check the length? What's up, uh, Cheesesteak Logan? That's a good name. Oh, you guys, you guys all think of some great names. What's up, Cheesesteak Lo Logan? Welcome to the channel. Very manly. Um, so let's go ahead and print also the length of the email list, and let's get rid of that i. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's let's explain what we're doing. We're opening up. We're setting an alias, but we're opening up this emails.txt, and we're setting basically the that data. Uh, to an email of uh, an alias of emails that we can use throughout the rest of our code here or while it's open. And so we're gonna set an empty list here so that we can start uh, creating a data structure that has each of these emails in it. And then we're gonna iterate through our list of emails. So we're gonna say for email in emails, uh, go ahead and append those things, each of those emails into this empty list that we have here. So it won't be empty after the first one. Uh, I'll put this here just so we can go through the first 10. I'm gonna remove that, but let's see if we can get the first 10 in here and the length should be 10. Uh, and let's run it. 
Oh no, we get a syntax error. We just talked about errors. You know that syntax error means that we did not follow the rules of Python. So file processor.py line 11 tells us exactly where it is. Syntax error, unexpected end of file. EOF, whenever you see that, stands for end of file while parsing. Let's see what they're talking about on line 11. Oh no. So this might be difficult for you to see up front. It wasn't a very good, uh, usually sometimes Python is great about the error that it gives. Right now it's not so great. Uh, but again, your eyes will start to catch things and you'll start to learn that whenever you use functions inside of print statements, you probably are missing a closing uh, a parenthesis. So you can see here, if I highlight this parenthesis, I don't see a closing one, but if I do this one, I see a closing one. Everywhere I have a closing one, my Vim will find it. So I don't have a closing parenthesis here. So it's basically saying, hey, I don't think this should be, I'm getting it to the end of file. I don't think this should be right. Um, I can't interpret what you have above this. So we'll save that and we'll run it and we get it again. Oh, okay. I thought this should be scriptable, but it wasn't. So we get a type error now. So basically uh, this type error, uh, this object is non-scriptable. You've seen this underscore IO text uh, IO wrapper. Basically that's the type of a uh, of thing that comes out of the open file. Um, so I guess I cannot, um, I guess I can't, I could, maybe I could typecast that, but no, I couldn't because it would become, um, that's interesting. It will become individual letters, but I can't. So we'll just do all of them. That's fine. Not a big deal. Um, but we get a, yeah. that looks like everything. And we got us, you know, it prints it out. It's got the open bracket and close bracket, which helps us indicate that this is in fact a list. Um, and then at the very end here, it gives us this 501, uh, which is the length. We checked for the length. We knew uh, that that file had 501 things in it. So that makes us feel good. We knew that the email list uh, that, we, that we created had 501 items in it. Um, and we put everything into a list in Python and we checked how uh, the length of that list, how many items were in that list. And we get 501. <laughs> So I think we're good to go. This is nice. Uh, this is great. Uh, looking good, but we have a problem here. We do have a, a problem here and look how all these have the slash in yeah. at the end. This is a common thing. This is again, this is, you know, especially when you're dealing with text files, which you will be doing a lot of, um, well, a lot of not, maybe not doing a lot of, but it's something that's commonly done with Python or CSVs or things like that. New line characters can be a problem. There are a number of ways to remove them. There are things like substring replacements. There are uh, people, some people split on them and then remove them all. I, you can do that. Um, yeah, you can split them. Uh, but because they're all new line characters um, at the end, uh, Python has a few options for this. And one of the biggest, uh, not biggest, but one of the easiest ones in this case is going to be a right strip. Um, so, uh, you can, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's, it's like a trim, you can trim, uh, but it's a right strip. And so there's a left strip as well. Um, but it'll basically remove anything, any white space to the right, any, you know, empty space to the right, it will go ahead and remove, uh, those things, uh, any like special characters and things to the right, it will remove those things. So, um, just a simple function again, how would you find out something like that? And it will just go to Google and say, how do I remove new line characters uh, in Python list or something? I don't know. Um, and you could come, I'm sure you will come across, you'll come across a bunch of stuff. This person wants to say, uh, I think they're doing what we're doing. It looks like they're opening a file and going through it. So it looks like they're doing what we're doing. And they are in fact, right stripping as well. So you can write strip and specify exactly what you want stripped. Um, I actually don't think you need to do, I'm pretty confident you actually don't need to do the split, uh, the split in. Um, oh, you, oh, you did the read dot split in. Yeah, you could, you could do the read dot split in. Um, but I think the right strip will work too. Let's, let's see real quick. Let's see what the difference is. Let's do both. Uh, you used to goodness. I like that. Um, that's usually how I would do it. Um, I'm only not, I'm only doing the right strip because uh, I, I always forget about the extra little nice methods. Right strip won't work uh, all the time. You need to make sure that your data is uh, exactly what you think it is to be able to do that. But we can run this. 
And if we run this, uh, you know, we still have the same 501. And you can see there are no new line characters here at the end. And right now, everything looks good at the front, but you do need to be careful with that. Uh, let's go ahead and let's look. Uh, emails dot read. Um, you mean the emails list? Oh, oh, you're saying split them out beforehand. Um, 90% analysis is clearing the data and getting it ready. The 90% is doing the analysis. Exactly. So that's why we're going to actually let's go ahead. Actually, let's not do it. Let's not do this here. Let's not do this right here. Let's simply append what we get out of the thing first and let's write a function. Let's start adding. Let's write a function to do all the cleaning. So we'll remove this. We're just going to append the email. It may be, um, have a function, accept that list. And yeah. Boom. And Let's do something cool here. Let's actually do it in a, we learned about imports. Let's actually use a whole different file to do this. Um, uh -huh. So what's common, um, actually, I haven't learned how to use nurture yet. Let me, uh, let's save this. And so right now this will give us, you know, this, this gross list. We take it in, we've accepted, that's that's part one. We, we've done part one of the readme. So we've accepted a list, you know, it doesn't look great, um, but let's go ahead and clean that up. So let's modify the readme really quick. And number two, let's say number two is um, uh, now that we have a list of a list of emails, comma, we need to clean that data. Um, Incorporate the following. Incorporate. I don't know how to spell, so I don't know if that's right. So we want to um, tab. We want to remove new line characters. Remove new line. Remove special. Remove special characters. Well, we're just gonna do new Leave line. line. <laughs> yep. That can get uh that can get that, that, that can get ugly real fast. So two, uh, remove the new line characters. Uh, ensure there are no duplicates, no duplicate entries. Oh, this would be our cleanup function. Yeah, this would be our cleanup function. Nice, nice. Ensure there are no duplicate entries. Um, that all we need to do. Remove new lines. No duplication. Make sure there are no duplicates. This is gonna be fine for now. We're not gonna we're not gonna check for valid email addresses or anything right now. A little extra. We actually probably don't have time to implement all those things. We'll start we'll start with just these two things. You can do a quick string comparison if it just has like a at sign in or whatever, whatever. Dot com. Just a real cheap validation. We could. Very cheap. We I could. It's very uh Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Premium RC map leader space. Is that for, what will that do? The leader space, will that give me, uh, will that help me with nested bullets? What is that? I'm not sure what that does, Adam. I don't, I mean, I, I'm learning Vim. I mean, I know Vim fairly well, but I do not know Vim. Like I've, I kept my Vim stock for a very long time. Uh, and I'm actually just diving into the world of all the Vim extensions and things that you have. Um, oh, I keep mine very basic. <coughs> Oh, yeah. So I'm not. A, I know how to toggle my nurture in and out. Um, I have gotten that far. So like, I know how to toggle it in and out. Whoa. Um, but the problem is I don't know all the special nurture commands to like uh, create new files and things. I think it's like M. Oh yeah, I do. I know exactly how to do it. <laughs> I got lucky. I got like, like add and then like. Uh, oh cool. I'll add a new file. So we're gonna let's we're gonna add like a utilities file. This is a common practice. So we're gonna add like a utilities.py. Uh, so we've created this utilities file here. Um, and so we could we could put all this stuff in one file. Everything from this readme, we could put in one file. We're not gonna do that though. Just, just again, we're gonna use the things that we've learned. Uh, any, this is a common paradigm for any, for any method that maybe call more than once or just, you know, is a utility, is something extra. Um, to help you run the the logic of your main piece of code, uh, people usually put it in another file, or you know, it, it's it's all a matter of uh, of preference, to be honest, on how you structure these things. Uh, but like library function, yeah, like a little library function. So this is, we're going to create a little module that does this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a function. 
and we're going to call it cleanup. That is not how you create a function. <laughs> we're going to call this, uh, let's call it email cleanup. Let's be very explicit. Email cleanup. All right. Um, we have a function called email cleanup for us to clean up the email. Um, it has to, it's got to accept something. So we need to pass uh, our list. We need to pass our list of emails to this function. So again, we'll be explicit so people can understand what we're doing and we're going to pass in our list of emails. All right. So let's start with the very first thing that we had here. Um, let the, the first thing we were trying to do is we were tr attempting to um, strip out, uh, we're, let's actually, let's, let's open our processor back up and let's close this. That. Um, yeah, so, uh, we don't even need to steal it. So we're basically going to need to clean this up. So we're going to need to, uh, take in this email list once we're done. So we can go ahead and delete this at the bottom. Uh, we're going to take it in and then we're going to need to remove uh, all the new lines. Uh, we use the R strip thing. Uh, let's see if we can do, let's see if we can do that here. Uh, best way, not best way, but we can simply do uh, uh, for email in list of emails. Um, uh, Again, very explicit. This is not the cleanest way. We'll, we'll, we'll shrink all of these things. Afterwards, we'll create a new one. We'll say clean list, clean email list. So it looks very much like what we've already done. I just, the, the, the thing I want to show you right now is it's going to look just like this. Um, but I want to, we want to practice doing some, creating a module and doing some imports to, to do this stuff. I have a question. So Ask, with the width open as emails. You don't have to close that file at all um, or anything like that. Great question. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure a with open, someone correct me if I'm wrong, pretty sure a with open, um, uh, I'm pretty sure it automatically closes at the at, at the end of the code run, at the end of this run. I'm not sure about that. Uh, so we could try to close it. We could try to close it. I'm not sure that that close will work. Um, I usually don't see with the with open, I usually don't see closes afterwards. But um, yeah, no, with creates a context manager that automatically closes. Got it. I love it when I'm right. There we go. Uh, closes the file when you have the scope uh, of the key with keyword. Absolutely. Thank you very much for that. Oh, you see goodness. Um, excellent question. First yeah. off, I like keep asking those. Um, so for email and list of emails, we'll do the same thing. We will do the uh, clean email list dot append and we'll just append in uh, what are we appending? We are pending in email dot R strip. Open again. All right. And so what do we know? What do we know about a function? Let's talk about what we know about functions. We know that functions only run when they're called. So we got to figure out how to call this function. Uh, and for you to use the data that is uh, created uh, in a function, you need to return that data from the function. So what are we going to return? We are simply going to return our clean email list. All right. So this is our function that's going to do, you know, the very basics. So maybe let's, let's, uh, let's, Put in a thing here that says uh, remove new line characters. All right, so we've written this. We've written this little bit of a uh, little bit of code here. Uh, looks very similar to this right here. Um, let's check to see if it works. So, what's the first thing we got to do? How do we use this code here in this code? We can say uh, import. And right now let's go ahead and just import the whole file. So we could, um, we could import just this function, but let's go ahead and we're gonna put more things in here. Maybe. Uh, so we're going to import utilities. It's called utilities.py. We'll go ahead and import, uh, utilities and we'll try to use that. So now that we've imported utilities and let's make sure we save this. And that's probably, let me see, actually, if I can, it wouldn't let me tab complete. I wanted to see if, oh, okay. 
All right, so now for us to be able to use this, greetings, co fan. What's up? Uh, what's that? Freedom Dow. What's up, man? How you doing? How are you doing today? Okay, let's use this. So now we've imported utilities. Uh, let's call this function. Let's call uh, email cleanup so we can use this because it, we've imported it. So we're going to call it and we need to pass in our email list. We need to pass it a list. So we're going to pass in email list and we can run that. So right now it'll run, but we're not printing anything out. Um, so we're not going to see any output. We want to see this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to print. We're going to print this. All right. Um, so I'm going to save this. Pretty sure I already saved this one as well. All right. So we're going to open up over here. We're going to open up our emails.txt. We are going to basically read each of the lines into a new, into, into a list. Each line is going to get put into a list. Uh, and then we're going to use this email cleanup uh, uh, function that we have over here to strip out the new lines uh, and return that to us. We're going to print that out over here. So hopefully with this written using these two files, using our main processor file and our utilities file, we should be able to get a clean list of email addresses or at least ones without new line characters. So go ahead and let's run it. Invalid syntax, uh, clean email list on line three of the utilities.py. So check that out and we can already see our error here. Our error here is that I wanted to create an empty list here and I just didn't put an equal sign in between them. So we can save that, run it. Okay, we got another problem. This is great. Uh, name, email cleanup is not defined. So we got a name error. Let's, let's read through that file. Line nine of, uh, tell us the file. Oh, processor, I'm tripping. Line nine of processor.py. So let's look at that. Line nine. Um, it says email cleanup is not defined. Did I spell that wrong? That's weird. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Email cleanup. Oh, 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 oh. Whoops. Hold on, hold on. Around. Darn it. Oh, I have to call utilities. Utilities dot email cleanup uh, because I did not uh, set this to anything. I didn't import this as anything. I have to the so utilities dot email cleanup pass in the email list. That is why. All right. So now we get it. So now it runs. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any new line characters in here. It looks like there it looks like there are some pretty clean email addresses in this list. Good, yeah. Looking kind of decent. All right. All right, everything looking, looking pretty good so far. Uh, so let's open our stuff back up. Um, what do we want? We want processor open. We also want utilities open and we can close this. Okay. So let's extend now. Uh, right now there shouldn't be any duplicates. Um, we'll create some duplicates in a second, but how do you remove, um, how do you remove duplicates? Um, this is uh, a couple different ways you could do it. Uh, you could, uh, you could do, you know, we're already looping over this, so you could do some weird like uh, copy each thing to a new list and then check if it's, you know, each item is in that list already and not move it. And uh, you can do that. Um, there's, 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 there's a few other odd ways, not odd ways. There's a few other ways that you may want that you might go about brute forcing, uh, checking for duplicates. Luckily, Python has, uh, and again, this is actually another reason why Python is is people utilize Python to do a lot of scripting and a lot of uh, things like this. It's a great general purpose language because it will allow us to easily check for this by, uh, and it looks like you see good as you got it again, you got all the answers, I love it. Um, cast to a set. So we learned about those different data structures that we have, a set being one of them. Um, a set will remove, uh, yes, it, it will, it will, um, 
remove the duplicates. It will it'll give us unique values, basically. Um, huh? Won't even add it in there. Yeah, it'll give us straight unique values. Um, Cast to a set and then back to a list. Um, so um, we could like, if we actually did it here, I think we could just return a set. I mean, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna leave it like this. We are gonna cast it to a set and cast it back. Um, but just to see just to see this in action, we're basically gonna take the list that we have here and we're gonna typecast it. We're gonna convert this list to a set um, and see what what it prints out. It should print out just fine. Um, but it, it'll make it so that we can't work with it later. Uh, so we'll have to cast it back to a set, but we're gonna do that in a second. Um, let's just take a look at what it looks like. So if you ever need to get unique values, if you ever come across a problem and you need to have unique values, cast a uh, casting to a set will solve that problem for you. So we run it again. Um, name lean email list is not defined. Did I changed something. Oh, that. Wait, 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 FG lean. Oh, clean. All right, there was no lean email list. There was only a clean email list. Ah, I keep doing this, I keep messing up. All right, <clears throat> and there we go. So you see goodness also uh, brought it up. Uh, we, there was a, there was an empty string at the very end of the file. Clean also did that. So uh, I've seen a lot of people um, when they want to remove empty strings from lists, uh, sets will do it. I've seen people loop through and and for each item, they'll say, if uh, if item is an empty string, go ahead and either pop that off or delete it or whatever. Um, so you could do that. But again, a set is nice and does all those things for you. But I'm pretty sure. Oh, actually, set just moves it to the front. I thought set removed them or are there two of them. I wonder if there were two. Um, I will check. We'll check in a second. If not, we'll still remove it. We may, may still have to remove it. I don't know why I thought it did that. Um, but okay. Uh, we'll check in a second. But um, I think I think sets are are sets mutable. I can't remember. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I think they are. And I think they're. Yeah, I think they are, they are. immutable. Yes, and that's the reason why we have to cast back. That's why we can't just use them. We have to cast back to a list because they are uh, sets are mutable. You can add to them. Every element is a, must be immutable. However, the set itself, okay, is mutable. I didn't know that. But the items, items must be immutable. Is it is it iterable? Can you can you like? Can you iterate over a set? I don't remember. Can you iterate over a set? That's why there are add and remove methods. You're right. There are add and remove methods for set. Yep, it is iterable. Um, cool. So uh, let's. So we have our list here. Um, them processor utilities.py. Um, But let's do this uh, again. We're just, I wanna be very explicit tonight. Yank it. Let's yank, let's yank this. And... All right, you speak good, this made a good point. The order is not guaranteed. Ah, yes, the, the, yeah, the order isn't guaranteed. Um, good thing we don't care about that here, but no, yeah, like for us in this, in this situation, order doesn't matter. Um, and if order does matter, it, it'll be, it, if you are working in a situation where order does matter, um, hopefully order does not matter at the beginning. Uh, so maybe you can do this in the beginning uh, to uh, get your stuff to where it needs to be. But order is not gonna matter for us today. I don't think, I don't foresee any situations where that would occur, uh, but we could do set clean. Let's see what happens if we do uh, set clean list and let's see what happens if we do uh back to list clean list let's see what comes out of here let's let, let's see what's coming out of this once we return do i have to uh i have to cast this back to clean list this this set this ca casting doesn't actually change the value does it i don't know good. all right all right, so we get our list back. So we can see here it is a list. It is in fact a list. 
Uh, I'll, I'll go back to the code in a second to show you what I did. I did it really fast. Really cool. All right. So this is, what, this is what we have again, very explicit. Uh, it seems like we're doing a lot of stuff to do something that is very simple. Uh, and we are, but again, we're being very explicit to do so. Um, so that's the first piece. Uh, this is going to remove the new line characters. Again, there are many other ways to do this. You do not, uh, don't, don't look, at, don't look at this and say, oh, our strip is how you remove new line characters. That is not true. Uh, it's simply not true. Look at, you can go look at what that method does. Uh, a couple of people posted a few different things you could do. A lot of people would use the split method to split on new line characters uh, to do that as well. Um, yeah, there are a lot of ways to do that and then you can clean it up later. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot there. Using the native type in the beginning, performance maybe. Um, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. That's a perfect response, no, bro. Maybe. Cool. So we have that. Uh, what was the other thing we need to do? We need to check for duplicates. So here's what we're going to do. I want to check for, oh, we actually, just to make sure, just so that we don't, uh, we, we can be sure that our duplicates are getting removed. Uh, check this out. Let's, 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 let's make a copy of this emails.txt. Let's uh, copy emails.txt to emails.txt.backup. So just so we have a backup of the original file, let's go into emails.txt. And let's go ahead to the middle. Let's copy, let's just copy some here. Oh. Copy, copy. Uh, and we'll paste. What? Oh, whoops. That didn't, that didn't work. We'll remove this line. Um, all right, so now we're up to a thousand. What, did it copy the whole file? Why did it go up to a thousand? What happens if I do a, oh yeah, I'm copying the whole file, hold on. Undo, 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 undo. Okay, hold on, we'll grab, we'll grab a, a bunch in here. Uh, We'll yank it, go to the end, Uh, we'll paste it. All right, we'll grab some more up here. So there will certainly be some duplicates in here. Um, we'll yank that, go to the bottom, and we'll paste this as well. So there'll definitely be some duplicates, and that one's not gonna be a duplicate because it's weird. Uh, I didn't copy the whole thing, not a problem. Uh, so I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna vim our processor, and I'm not going to clean this up. I'm only going to print out email list. Um, I'm only gonna print out the length of email list, actually, because the length will tell you something better. So without me running the cleanup script, without us trying to use the cleanup script to uh, to remove all the duplicates, uh, we can go ahead and we can check uh, that we have 540 items in here. And if we look at the emails.txt, you, you go to the bottom, uh, you can see in here that we do in fact have 540 items in here. Um, all right, so running it through our cleanup script should in fact find a bunch of uh, somewhere around 40 uh, um, uh, duplicates because uh, we just copied and pasted out of that file. So let's go back into, oops, let's go back into our processor and let's check the length of after we uh, do utilities dot, oops. <clears throat> what was our thing called? Utilities dot, uh, uh, I don't remember what it was called. Yeah. Oh, email cleanup. I'll see Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, so do I have enough parentheses? No, I do not have enough parentheses. All right, so now we're checking the length. The length was 540. Let's check the length now uh, after we're actually cleaning things up. And let's make sure that uh, that it should be right around 500. It, it, it'll probably be like 501 or 502 because of some copy paste errors. 
But okay, so 503. So it did in fact remove uh, 37 items that were on that list. So it did in fact do some cleanup, which is nice. So we can be confident uh, that there are no duplicates. We could run, um, we could write a little script to, I mean, a little function to print out dupes and things like that, but um, good to go. It looks like we're, we're managing duplicates um, as well, but let's do one, let's do one more thing. Um, when you're trying to clean lists like this, um, uh, in in lang in certain in some languages in most languages actually um let's let's take a look at the first item uh let's take a look at the first light uh, item in emails.txt is this zimlak zim zim <laughs> zimlak cheyenne at dare.com <laughs> that's the craziest all right. thing ever all right so ch check a look at this python 3 let's hop into Let's hop into the interpreter. Uh, we'll say, is this equal to there? Let's, maybe somebody put in their cap, capital letters for their name. Ah, because it's a dot. Oh, and this needs to be a string. Is this string equal to this string? Does it check the reference or does it check the actual value? Good question. And it is not, it is it is false. Uh, it is false because again, these uh, strings, um, when it does this comparison, um, these characters, the, the, the ASCII value of Z, of capital Z and lowercase Z is different. Um, these are, remember that strings are just a list of characters. Uh, that's what a string is. What's up, sh uh, Shikari, Chick. Kari, welcome. Thank you for the follow. But uh, remember that. So uh, capitalize. This is not the same thing. Uh, so uh, usually another another thing that you would have to do in cleanup is you would uh, basically normalize case as well. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just add that to our script so we can get practice doing that. Uh, just because that is something that is common that you would do. So in our utilities.py, uh, remove new line characters. Actually, we might not even put this in here. So we're looping through everything that's in here. Um, and what we could do is um, uh, we learned about the, like really early on, we did all the all about string session. We learned about string methods. Um, and so to a, a string, I wonder if I could just add it on here. There's a string method. What is it to lower? I think that's a string method in Python. I don't know. I, rem I never remember between languages what they are. Uh, let's see. Uh, Python string methods. Pretty sure. That'd be too lower. Pretty sure it's too lower. Yeah. You're never sure though. You are never sure. Uh, convert the string to lowercase. Oh, just, just lower. lower. See? <laughs> see? What is that? Is that what, what is it's too lower? Uh, let's it's go. go. Yeah, I think it's too lower in Golang. Yeah. Yes. Too, okay. Too he's a, he's a, I, I love go. He, that's, that's what he but I do. do. That's my jam. That's his jam. So we're used to, again, you, it gets, it gets super weird. <laughs> we ain't going back and forth between these things. So it's just lower. Java's low, too lower too, I think. So I don't know if I can put it right here at the end. I think I can. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see if it does that. Um, the way we'll check this is all these are already lowercase. So this would be actually better if we had a less clean list of emails, but let's go ahead and let's just make the last item. Uh, let's capitalize. Let's put a bunch of capital letters in here. All right, save it. What's up, uh, backward that kid? Welcome, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. All right, five oh, oh it's pretty lame. Uh, but um, we don't want to print the length. We want to actually print what it looks like when it cleaned up. Oh, processor dot oh. And the last, uh, I forgot the order is not going to change. Uh, what was the name of the thing that we, uh, 
tail dash. Did we tail dash one? Emails at txt. Uh, whoa, tails dash two. All right, so we're gonna search for uh, feral.com. So we're gonna run this because, so basically what happened is, remember how we brought up before, how Yeasty Goodness brought up before that sets, uh, when you convert to a set, it the, the order um, will, may not remain the same. The order's not guaranteed. Uh, so basically, this is spitting that when we convert it to a set and convert it back, we basically switch up the order here. So I was looking in the last spot, looking for this name, hoping to see it lowercase, but um, but it in fact is not there. <laughs> it's a, I feel like Big Fatty Cock just wanted to follow <laughs> so that I would have to say welcome to the channel. I, I thank you for the follow, Big Fatty Cock. <laughs> I oh, I God. must I must welcome everyone who comes in. I'm sorry no for bro. um if if no Twitch if Twitch allowed it, I feel like I have to I feel like I have to right. welcome you. So <laughs> welcome. Uh <laughs> welcome to the channel. Um I always I always wondered about times like this what I would do and now we know. <laughs> um um so I'm going to just grep for I'm going to just use Linux to find out where that line is. Um so I'm just gonna run this and I'm gonna grab uh, feral, F-A-R-R-E-L-L. -R -R -E Whoa, there are that many? Oh, ah, oh, darn it, it shows this as one, it shows this as one thing, but uh, there are more than one? What's the, what the person's name? Behringer Deshaun, is that the person's name? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So the person's name is here. And you can see here that it does print it out in all lowercase. So um, it prints it out in all lowercase. And so we're good to go there. Um, yeah, so we are using that to lower uh, or that lower uh, string method actually allows us to do that. What's up, uh, ham uh, Hamster J, welcome. A lot easier now. I feel a lot more comfortable saying your name. So welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, <laughs> it's got to be a TOS violation. Hey, I mean, I didn't. I man, I don't know. I tell my girl that's not the. <laughs> it's not that type of streaming. I feel you. It's definitely not that type of streaming. But cool. We have lowercase all the stuff. Cool. So now you've you've now seen uh, you've now written we've now written our first cleaning function um, in our utilities file. FG. Um, yeah, we've written our first cleaning function over here to kind of clean up this email that we're bringing in. All right, so we said we wanted to clean this up, which we've done now. Um, find duplicates, huh? Did that find the duplicates? Find the duplicates. Compare the emails. All right, so the next thing we want to do. Um, c compare the emails. Yeah, get another list. Generate another oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's we we this is our day one email list. We've gone ahead at the end of the day. Let's say we generated this list of emails. You know, you got the output. You got the output that's right here. Not a good, not a good format for you to use. But let's say you got this. Uh. You got this clean list of emails. You took in the raw list of emails. You got this clean list of emails. Um, actually, let's, we'll, we'll write it to a file in a second. But you got this clean list of emails. Tomorrow, it's also gonna give you a raw list of emails tomorrow too, but it's gonna have additional names on it. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some more emails to the same list. And we actually want this list to take the, take the, we want it to take the list from today, compare it to the list from yesterday, yes. and determine what emails on that list are new so that we are only emailing the, the new people who have not been emailed before. So, uh, so we gotta do a couple of things. Um, right to the file. First, we need, to write, we need to write today's list of clean emails. We're gonna write that to a file. We're gonna write all that stuff to a file. After we write all that stuff to a file, um, we're going to take in the new days list and then we're going to need to compare the new days list to yesterday's list. And we're going to need to, uh, we're going to need to figure out what our new emails are. So let's write this to a file. So maybe let's change some names real quick. Uh, let's make email lists. Let's, let's actually, we're going to remove email list. Um, and we're going to, we're going to reinstate email that text back up. So 
move emails, text backup to emails.txt. All right, then we're gonna move emails.txt to maybe like raw emails, uh, emails.txt. So we'll do that. We obviously need to modify our code here to read in raw emails. What's up, Adverse88? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Uh, so we're gonna read in raw emails and let's actually, instead of printing out, we're gonna, we're gonna write to a file. Um, we're gonna write to a file, uh, a clean, we're gonna write to a, like a clean emails.txt. So we learned how to do this just last time. Um, file operations, uh, write, create files. So we can create an empty file if we want, but we can go ahead and just write to our file. Um, we go ahead and append to a file here. Uh, so we're gonna open, we're gonna open up a file here in append mode. Um, and then we're going to write each of the items in the list to this, uh, to this file. So, um, yeah. So you can Google this if you want it, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to put this together ourselves. So, F dot open. See how you do that right? So I have two, two I'll, ideas in my head on how to I wanna that. see how I'm gonna do that right as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so maybe we'll just, uh, this is, this, this will be a, uh, We'll put the right here too. Maybe, we, maybe, maybe we'll have a processor file that only opens up the file, and then literally everything else is done in this utilities. Nah, 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 nah we're, not gonna, we're not gonna do that. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll do the right here. We'll say uh, right. Uh, we'll call this. Hmm. The function name. Maybe because maybe we're gonna write more than one file. So uh, here's what we're gonna. We are gonna use the utilities file. We are going to use the utilities file here. Oh, have a parameter, yeah. a, a name, and a name uh, yep. Boom. Cool. Programmers think just for fun. All right, so we're going to write a, we're going to write ourselves a new a new function. So we're going to write a function to uh, write a file. So write a file. Um, because maybe later on, we're going to extend this, uh, to write more than one file. So we'll probably, hopefully we have time to write more than one file. I think we're going to need to write more than one file. So, uh, let's do that. What's up? Always tilted. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. Um, so we're going to, we're going to do that. So, um, to write to a file, um, what are we writing to a file right now? We're just trying to write a file right now. What are we trying to write? We're trying to write all of the contents of a list into a file. So what is this function? What information is this function gonna need? Um, it's going to need, for one, it's going to need uh, the list, the email list. Um, so we'll just keep this as email list. But um, this will also, it doesn't need anything else, but for us to write into different file names, um, in case we're writing, you know, multiple files, uh, we need to pass in also something else. Uh, and so we need to pass in like a file name. We need to be able to tell it what the name of the file is that we want this to write to. So we're gonna create this utility function that says write a file name. And uh, so it's gonna take in an email list, it's gonna take in that list that we, that we already have. And maybe, hmm, maybe we'll change it to say take in just so we can follow the maybe so you can follow the the flow it's going to take in your clean email well no because it might take in it can take in anything because we don't know where else we're going to write we're just going to say it's going to take in a list it's going to take in a file name so it's going to take in all right so our list is going to obviously in this case be the cleaned up list of emails that we've already created um and so, uh, how are we going to go ahead and write that to a file? Let's, uh, let's open a file first. So we're going to use the open function in the name of the file. Um, so let's just do, let's call it, let's, let's use the F paradigm as well. F equals open. Um, uh, and so we're going to be open, open, like the file name is the first thing that you put. The file name is the first item you put here. So we're going to use that file name variable. And we're gonna use the append mode to open it up in. And just like that, it's going to basically create and open up uh, a file um, at whatever we called it, whatever we passed into the function. 
uh, here. So, uh, cool. So we've done that. Now, to be able to write, to actually write to it, uh, we need to f dot. We need to use the 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 write method on the open file that we just created, and we need to write in our list. So let's 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 try this first. Uh, let's try this first. F dot write. Oh, and we need to write in. We're gonna put our list inside of that file, and then we're gonna f dot close. All right, so we actually don't need to return anything from here. Why don't we need to return anything? Uh, one, because this is a, we don't need to return anything because this is actually opening up something on our operating system, on our file system and doing it there. Um, but we also need to do one more thing and that is import the, uh, oh no, that's only, don't we need to import the OS? Uh, do we not need to, what do we need to import OS for? Is that only for delete? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, cool. All right, so yeah, we don't actually need to return anything out of this function. So function is going to take in data, do something with it, but we don't really need any uh, return here. Um, we shouldn't need any return. So how do we call? How do we use this again? You need to to use a function. You need to call a function. So first, um, because we're not printing out our clean email list anymore, let's go ahead and and create a clean email list. Uh, we don't have a clean email list right now. Um, yeah, we don't have a clean email list, so we're going to run. Uh, I'm gonna say clean uh, email list equals utilities dot email cleanup, and we're passing in email list, and I'm actually going to close this over here for now, uh, so that you can see everything. <laughs> So this is gonna give us a clean email list. And then we're gonna use that write to file function uh, for, for this to do exactly that. So then we're just gonna do utilities dot write a file. And it needs to take two things. The first thing was the list. So it's gonna take in clean email list. Darn it. And then it's gonna take in a file name. So what do we wanna call this? Let's call this, um, let's call this, Clean emails. <laughs> clean email. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call this clean dash emails dot txt. Let's go. go here. So hopefully this will write us out a cool file. You never know. We probably did something wrong. You've seen us make lots of mistakes already. I make no mistakes. I make mis <laughs> lots of mistakes. Mistake. <laughs> Mistake immediately. Uh, but you don't need to be afraid of these mistakes at all. Don't sweat it. Uh, utilities that write a file clean clean mails uh, line 14 and write a file f write list uh, type error. The write function argument must be a string and not a list. This is great. This what is it telling us here? It's telling us that we tried to, to make this write our list. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to write this clean email list here. Um, and it wouldn't write it because it is a list in the right, uh, the right method takes only a string. So how in the heck can we fix that? So, um, this is exciting. Um, it's not exciting, but it's, it is, it is something good to learn. So, um, you could, you could try to cast it. There was something you might do is you might try to cast it to a string for some reason. Is it, is it just STR in Python? I think it's just STR. That feels wrong. You could do this. Uh, let's see if this works for us. Um, ooh, that does work. I didn't, actually didn't think that was gonna work. Let's look at raw emails.txt though. Oh. Oh, not raw emails. I was about to say, I was like, that is not what I was. <laughs> we don't want raw emails, we want clean emails.txt. Okay, this there makes more go. sense. I was like, I was like, hold on, Python got Python got crazy on me. <laughs> All right, so this is not what we want. It it did do it did what we needed, uh, but it it uh, it's it's, it's 
It's cl I think it's clean. There's that empty one right there. And it's got the empty one. We never we never removed the empty oh, yeah, one. Removed it. Uh, but it's a, it's an, an actual list. Like it actually just wrote the list in string form. It, there's one line you can see here in my thing. Like all the stuff is here, but there's a single line. Everything's on one line. Um, it is not an actual thing. Um, well, it's not what we want. It, it it did write the contents to a file, but it wrote a string to the file. Like we don't we don't want one long list of of nothingness we want a list of individual emails so let's take a look back at our uh, utilities so you can, use, you can do this in a couple of different ways uh, i like this 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 uh new line join list new line join list might not uh that's not gonna work i don't know i don't think that's gonna work it, because we cleaned it will it work um you could loop through we could loop through um uh, but let me try that let me try the the new line join list. Um, I don't open string join. What is that? Dot join on. Do I write that on the where do, where do I write that? What do I do this? I've never I don't know if I've ever seen this new line join list. Where do I put that yeasty goodness? I, I want to try that out. That makes that that doesn't seem like it will work, but I'm confident in the things that you say to me. So I uh, I want to try that out. Um, the dot join is a is a string function. Is that just going to turn? Is that going to turn my list into what is that going to do? F dot right and I join. Hmm, interesting. Uh. Uh, dot join huh that's gonna be cool if that works I mean I'm, I'm sure it's gonna work Turn the string compose the elements of the list delimited by the string that oh that makes that makes sense it does in fact make sense uh, the problem is I should have emptied this file because I did a pinned so this stuff's still going to be here. And that does work. That does, in fact, work. Interesting. That makes sense. Then I wasn't. Hmm. If like I've been doing this the hard way for years, then I can't remember the last time I've, I've had to do this. Um, that makes that actually, that makes perfect sense. Cool. All right. That's nice. Look at that. We saved ourselves some time. Um, I like that a lot. So we used the, we used uh, the join method, uh, which is a string method, uh, to be able to join the items together um, using that new line character, which would show it. Uh, that makes that actually makes perfect sense. Which would insert a new line basically in between each of them. Um, cool. So let me empty. Let's run it again, and let's actually change this to right instead. So we're gonna change it from append to write uh, so that it overwrites everything in the file every time it runs. And that makes sense, I like that. Nice. Let's see, I've noticed when I place a read data into variable, it places a blank line below the data. Better use a strip to get rid of it. Uh, you guys, oh yeah, yep. Uh, so I used the R strip um, to do that. You said a blank line below it. Um, if you copy what I copied, I think it just inserted one. We could clean that out um, in here if we wanted to, but yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, but it'll. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Um, at the if you're saying after you add in this new line here, the last line is a new line that would in fact it would go down to the next line. So the last item. I just empty this out um, and I change it to right, run it again. Let's empty one at the top and it should, it should go to the next line. Oh, just empty one at the top. Cool, okay. So we have this list here and it's clean now. It doesn't have the big one liner at the top. 501 items, including that empty space. Nice. We, we, we're going to clean that up later. We're going to clean up that uh, empty line later. Um, but okay. What were we... I thought we were doing something. Oh, we needed to write to a file. So today we, we wrote this to a file. Excuse me. 
Um, so maybe to, so tomorrow, let's say new emails come in. So we're gonna take in raw emails. That txt. Um, let's see. How do we want to do this? We should. What's up, uh, Coax One? Welcome. Thank you for the follow. The way we're gonna do this is we are going to okay, rename. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just uh, get a new source list and just go through the exact same thing you did, and then save it, and then write the compare function, and you can just see the new emails that come in. Literally, just do all that process over, but in like two minutes. So yes, we can do all that process over, but what we're gonna have to do is, it's likely every day that the file, yeah, it's the file's gonna be downloaded with the same name. So we're gonna need to move. Ah. We're gonna need to. Uh, we don't want to overwrite. It's a real life scenario. Actually, it's a real life scenario. Hmm. I don't want to do a bunch of stuff with date functions. I, I <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 a a pin to underscore date. I don't want to do date because then we're going to have to account for the date to figure out what yesterday was. That's and like, true. Okay, here's what we're going to do. All we're going to do is you can only compare today and yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, so yes, yeah, so that's what we were just talking about. You could automatically rename the file based on the create date, but then you've got to put in some logic to know what yesterday's file was. So that would work for us, like if we were only keeping a single day, um, but if you do it by date, then we have to do a lot of, not a lot of extra stuff, but enough extra stuff that we kind of don't have time for. Yeah. Well, all we're gonna do mm -hmm. is rename the file to, uh, to like dot, to like, dash yesterday or something or dot yesterday um sure you yeah you yes it, you you could you could do that to check for the default file name but you would still need to put in that logic to check for whatever yesterday's uh whatever the automatic naming convention you would create for yesterday's is um and again you can just check date for that um not not incredible not hard that is how you would do it that's how you should do it we're just trying to make it a little bit easier so you don't have to write a bunch of code um Windows and Windows, you can read the new files with more. File name.txt or just type in file name. Yeah. All right. So all we're going to do, all we're going to do today is raw emails is the, is the new file that comes in today. Use the OS module to grab and create dates of all the files sort by the create. You're making it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, we're trying to make it simple. <laughs> I, I, nah, I love it. You, I mean, I love it. And these are the things that you would want to try. These, these are, are world things you would do on a job though. This is how you, th these, you this is exactly it. how you would do it. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> for the purposes of this, <laughs> remember this we're just renaming, <laughs> uh, we're just going to re we're, we're only gonna be able to do two days of things and we're just going to rename, um, we're going to rename the raw emails.txt file to like raw emails yesterday.txt or something like that. Um, actually, we don't care about the raw emails file. We only care about the clean, the, the clean emails file. So we're going to rename the clean emails file. So like when it comes in uh, tomorrow, uh, when the new thing comes in, we'll hmm. Just a, just a little bit of uh, just a little bit of rename logic. So if this is day one, okay, this is day one, and we run this, yep, we get a clean emails.txt. Okay, when does it get moved to clean emails.txt yesterday? On first run, or like at the, at the, the beginning mm -hmm. of the run? Um, or or do we immediately when we're done also okay. also copy it to yesterday? I'm trying to think of a, more of a real world example. The, the latter one is definitely easier. Um, just at the end, just copy it over to yesterday. Uh -huh. um, or when you do it the second time, check for the exist existence of that file. If it is, move it and then and then move do it. it. Okay. Do what you gotta do. Why are you using a relative time indicator? You want everything to be accurately named and not dependent on the user's context. I know. Is the goodness is going in. <laughs> you're right. You, you're right. You know what's my, I love this. You are absolutely correct. I'm going to take this as a troll. Uh, I love this. Mostly because I'm using a relative time indicator because we have 20 minutes um, and there's a couple more things I want to do. Um, I love this. Uh, let's do this actually. Um, let's see. 
Why? I, I feel like I want to get this like, I'm going to tweet this out all week. Why are you using a relative time indicator? That's going to be our thing right now. I, I like, I I, I'm, I'm serious. I'm saving this in my Google Keep right now. Why are you using a relative time indicator? It's good. It's. Oh, I love it. Um, but I also feel like everything else we're going to do is going to be just as weird. I want 10% of the gross. All right. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll make, uh, we'll make, we'll make stickers and swag. Oh, you, you got it. You got it. Um, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Happened. A lot. Uh -oh. Um, so which one, which way are you going to do it? Man, we, look, it's about to be janky. We're just going to rename the file. Let's see. Python. Rename file. So if you ever want to know how to do again, I, I really like to drill it in. You Google when you aren't sure. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure <laughs> to be. I, I, oh, nice. This is easy. So um, we've, we've used the OS thing before to delete. We learned how to delete files using the OS module. Looks like we can import it and simply rename it. Uh, I'm assuming the first parameter is the source. And the second file is the destination. Yeah. So let's go ahead and let's let's test it out before we put it in our code. Let's go ahead and let's, let's see if we can test that out real quick. Or maybe we should just put it right in our code because it's 940. We should put it in our code. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So we're going to write the file. Mm -hmm. Maybe at the beginning of the run, we should rename. Exactly. Exactly. The very beginning of the run, Check we should read it. The existence of it. We're not doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't. So you can, in fact, uh, definitely take some time to look at to look through the OS. Um, Look at the options you have available to you in the OS module. You can check for the existence of a file uh, and make decisions based on that. So a lot of the times uh, in your code and your scripts like this, you will just to be sure you will go ahead. Uh, you'll go ahead and you're right. You will check for it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll check for a file. Never mind. We're just going to do it. It'll be faster to just do it than explain about it. Oh, there we go. Take chances. I mean, it's, it's, it's not chances. It ain't hard. It's just, it's just, are we, uh, all right. Import path. I'm going to import OS. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to import the OS package so that we can use these operating systems functions, like removing a file, like, uh, checking files there, renaming files, etc. And down here, we are going to add in some stuff. So path that exists. What does path that exists give us back? I think it's for the folder, not the file. This is this is a text file. It all oh, gives it true or false. It gives it true or false. Okay. So so we're gonna we're gonna basically check for if uh. uh uh, clean. Yeah. Oh, a file name. Because we want to check if the file name exists. This will work for any file. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if 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 file name, no, no uh, quotes. No quotes. Yeah. So we're gonna check if our file name exists. If file name exists, uh, now we can look at our other thing to rename it. This is exactly how we code. Like this is how software engineers code. It's called <laughs> technically cowboy coding, <laughs> and I we, we just hey, this is, is that we do it. This is I mean, don't get don't, don't if you don't wrong. know stuff. This is how we figure it out. This is how you, you like yeah. practice and figure it out. But um, also like usually, usually not all the time. I'll take some time. <laughs> And I'll really think about, yeah, <laughs> I'll really sure. think about a lot of what you're seeing right now is literally off the cuff. Like yeah. we're not like, we're not really structurally thinking about this because it's not super important. We're just kind of get through it. Yeah. Yep. Hack and slash your way through it. Perfect. Sometimes that's okay. And I do think uh, while you're learning, um, I think that is okay. I think that is something that is good to do actually, because it gets you to touch a lot of different things and you're not too, you don't need to get too worried about what's right. Um, try to get to something that works in the beginning. Now you should be like, when you get to sites like this, uh, read through them, read through the examples they give you, uh, cause it can teach you some best practices. It can teach you some different ways of doing things that's cleaner and maybe you can change your code, but Hey, like sometimes it's okay, you know, to hack and slash your way through stuff, uh, for sure. Start doing stuff with bug bounty, uh, or pen testing and you do this way a lot. Yeah. See, 
What's up, uh, Anzuki? What's up, local root? Welcome. Thank you to thank you for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Um, all right, so we saw how to rename. So we're also going to use this OS dot rename to rename our file. So we are going to do. We're going to do. Hmm, I wonder if we're going to do some type of string interpolation to like how we're going to. What are you talking about? So like what? Uh, OS. So if it exists, we're so we're basically going to check if if the file name that we entered exists. If it does, we're going to use the rename function, and we're going to rename it from file name to ah. file name. Like, uh, how are we going to do? I, do I have to interpolate this? Like, do I have to? Can I do a like an f string? This should be able to just I'm or, or like a plus, a, like a plus in the string. Yeah, let's try it out. File name thinking, plus yeah. uh, yesterday. Yeah, something like that. Uh, dot yesterday. All right, we'll try this. We'll see if this works. Um, so basically, we're saying if the file already exists, go ahead and rename the current one to file.yesterday. Uh, and then go ahead and keep running the rest of your code. Yeah, that work. What's up, Exo Dose One Dosone? Exo Dose Dose One Dose One. Welcome <laughs> to the channel. No. Thank you for the follow. You, it's fine. Dosone. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it's fine. oh no, path is not defined. For it. Oh, uh, I imported. No, I imported OS. I don't think I did OS.path. I think I have to do OS.path. Yep. Yeah, they imported the exact thing. Uh. All right. Okay. So look, it did work. Uh, so it created us a backup of the file. It's the same amount of of space taken up, same size. Uh, and it did write this file again. So nice. we've uh, checked for a file if it exists. If it exists, we'll rename it to yesterday. Um, and then we'll go ahead and write our file. So um, so let's go ahead and add to our raw emails.txt file. So where's our fake generator? Now, uh, this is the one we used. Hold on. These are all the ones we opened up that were all doo-doo. I mean, <laughs> that feels like a bad word. So we're gonna add in another 300 names here. Actually, no, nah, you don't get that many people per day. <laughs> you only get another 50, uh, you get another popping, bro. 38 people per day. You get another 38 people. Generate names, these look the same. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> they look the same, don't they? I don't know. Uh... Okay, no they don't, okay. Cool. So I, I don't know how this calculates, so we may get a little less than 38, a delta of a little less than 38. But we'll see. We're going to add these to our list. Uh, vim raw emails.txt. So this simulates. This simulates us. Um, delete this. Um, uh, downloading uh, the next day's stuff. We have 38 new people. We don't know that yet. Uh, we re yeah, we really don't. We don't know that yet. But we have more people in this list now than we had yesterday. So the new raw list is longer. Okay. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do to test is just to make sure that it is renaming the clean emails text to yesterday properly. And so if we run this, if we do the processor again, what it should have done is clean emails.txt.yesterday should be whatever was here before. So it should still have the same size, but clean emails.txt or .txt should be larger because it has 38 more items in it. So if we do an LL, it, it is in fact larger. Um, it's nice. It is in fact larger, and it did rename this. So if we were to add more names, these would swap. This will go down again, and it will be larger. All right. So now let's check for dupes. Let's use our utilities file, and let's check for duplicates. I didn't see you write that logic. I didn't know where. Uh, what logic? Oh, you didn't write it yet. To check for duplicates? Yeah. No, I didn't do it yet. Check for dupes. All right. So what do we need to what do we need to be able to check for dupes? We need to mm. check the original file 
and we need to check uh we need to check the original file and the and the and the yesterday's yesterday's file and today's file uh to check for dupes um what i'm going to do is we could open up each file we, we could open up each file and pass them both in as parameters yeah i don't think we need to do that yeah, um because one's gonna be bigger than the other one so it's gonna be 38 extra ones 38 more extra entries you know what i mean but we have file name here so okay. we do so we do i do want to put it uh I, i'm gonna open up both uh both files i'm gonna open up both files in the main in the main one and pass them in as uh i'm gonna open up both files in the main piece of the application and pass them in both as options like uh like email list one and email list two why am i gonna do this i'm gonna do this rather than opening them up inside of here because if i open them up inside of here i'm gonna have to also pass in the file like because we have we, we have oh i know something i would also have to pass in the file name i don't want to pass in the file name too what if you uh have one go into a uh the set right and then you process the other file and i'm sure when you try to add something to a set if it's already existing you get like a bull or something if it's already there we said again do you get like a boolean value if it's already there that, like a bull if if it already exists in the set yeah oh that would, tell uh, you the, that would tell you the duplications like what is like if it's a set and you add it what do you get it i could do that like that's one way <laughs> that is definitely just, one way just count the uh just have an iterator just what's, count the duplicates. what's up darushan darushan <clears throat> darushan welcome to the channel or a um, email this one. or or you can do um you can check if in python i'm pretty sure maybe there's another language but i'm pretty sure you can just simply check if an item is in oh, something in else set. so like if i in, if like this in the, like go like you loop through one yeah. and say if this is in, in uh, the other one then yeah, but you're doing that every time huh you're doing that every time though what do you mean you're doing it every time so you have the list and then you're iterating through the other list if this you got to go through all those items if this is in that it's going to do that check every time how else are you gonna do it that's just so i'm thinking performance in my head i come from uh, go and yeah I, hey like, hey <laughs> i don't know let's see let's see uh, let's see the performance why not on that why, why not have a yeah I know yeah I know you did that Python why not have a master email list we want oh that that's what we should have named it that's what we should a master list well but that's what the new the new list is the master list like like the the, the raw email list is the master list um so we can take the master list and I don't know how you would do you do that though with the, the I, duplicates it, I actually um, I mean let's bring, again we are we're learning and i actually don't know the fastest way to do this but we can literally just check if it's in the other one it should be pretty fast yep if yes it's literally if x is in we're trying to think if 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 there was a if there was a structure or a method right. in python to not have to do pure uh iterative comparisons um but yeah we can we can do that i'd use collections counter on both i'll check that out i don't know what that is um, but, but see, maybe I think that's something we were looking for. We'll do it the simplest way. Um, we'll definitely do it the simplest we'll way. By the time you finish this. What? By the time I finish this, it's, it's, finish it's super simple. This, I'm gonna <laughs> it's, it's, we'll find something way more efficient. What? Yes. Watch. Nah, you just four, four, uh, four emails, four email and email list one, uh, you can simply do it for email and email is one if uh if email in email list two if email and email list two uh append it to another list so like uh 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 new emails equals empty list brute force baby we don't try to do th anything right just <laughs> Uh, new. I already beat you. I already beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I already beat you. New email list. If if email and email list two. Uh, you want to add it to the just add it to the new list. Yeah. Uh, continue. 
and then if not, it uh it appends. Uh new list dot append email. He was right. That looks right. Does that look right? I wasn't looking at any chat messages. I was just trying to win. I'm very competitive. And he said he was going to find something faster than I did. I go first of all. <laughs> and I immediately went into competition mode. <laughs> you did, bro. <laughs> and I had to win. Okay. See, Iterate I, through the master I email list that, and compare each. That, yeah. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I don't know if I don't know if this is right yet. I, uh, but yeah, the audio quality is crystal clear. clear. Excellent. I, I'm glad. I'm glad it's working out. Um, I worked hard on the, the the room has like terrible acoustics compared and compared to my house like when I was streaming from before. Uh, but I, someone I watched a video about some uh, OBS filters and I'm glad they're working out. Uh, what's RDBU? I don't know what that means. Did I type that in somewhere? Uh, see, I feel like you set me up. I feel like that's like a I feel like a joke. I don't know. Let's Google it. Urban Dictionary immediately. Nah, I'm not Googling it. I don't I try. I, yeah, you Google it. I, <laughs> before something pops up on my screen. I, there's a lot of trolls on here. All right, so basically what we're trying to do here is I'm creating a new list. Um, actually, let's make it a little more descriptive. New email list. Um, yes, the new list will contain non-duplicates. Correct. I only want the new stuff. I don't want no old stuff. I only want the new stuff. So for email and email list one, if email and list two, uh, then go ahead and just go to the next iteration of the for loop. Um, if not, go ahead and append that email to new list, a new email list. I don't, all right, but I also need to do one other thing. We also need to open up, bless you. We also need to open up um, the new file, like the yesterday file. Um, we, we, Ah, this see, and this is what happens when you do not think out an application well. Um, right now, it's fine. Um, try converting the list to sets. Oh, well, well, so converting the list to sets will. Uh, what will that do? I think he's hitting on the idea I had earlier, but I'm confused. Why do you need to open up? So this already finds the duplicates, right? Huh? This already finds the duplicates. So. Why do you need to open up the new? Oh, you're right. You're right. I do not need to open up the, the new one. Yeah, you're fine. Hold on. Uh, how long will y'all be doing this boot camp? Boot camp's 12 weeks. Uh, we are in, this is like the end of week seven right now. There's a YouTube playlist. If you do pound YouTube, you can follow along um, and catch up on all the old ones. It will rerun. Re We're actually doing different boot camps next time, but there'll be three 12 week boot camp series a year. Well, three sessions uh, with between two to three boot camps in each of them. So we'll start back up again in like May. Uh, we'll, we'll, this goes in through the end of March. We'll do some mini yes. stuff in between. In uh, May. What's his name? That makes sense. Convert it to a set, and that way it's O of one time for the searching. Because if it's a list, it's like by end time. Oh, oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Shout out to who was that? Um, let's get the other stuff set up. You're right. Pine You're Man. right. And return to set. You are correct. That makes sense. Um, hold on. Let's leave it here for a second. Let's get let's get everything passed in properly. The problem is. What is email list one? Uh, email list one is going to be the, the clean list okay. that comes through. And email list two is gonna be uh, the clean list dot yesterday. Um, where's the best place that we're gonna have access to those names? Um, is it gonna be, I mean. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Uh, uh, you need the actual list, not the. No, I mean, so the, so this is the this is the help. This is the utilities function. So let's uh, open up the processor. Ah, darn it. How you do this? What is, I'm not, well, obviously, <laughs> whoa, get out of here. What is happening? Okay, visual. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is still our regular file. Um, before we write the file, 
this before we read the file? We're gonna check for dupes before or after. I think it's after. Oh well, no. If okay. we if we're using the file, it's after. But we want to use the list. Um, but the pro see that's the problem. What's the problem? That we that one will have the list in one, and the other one will have to read in as a file. Like we'll have, we have to read it in to create the list. Uh, let's why don't you see. Just, why don't you just create uh, how you got the first list? Um, just call that again with the second file, and literally just write a function to call that new function you did. Um, we can do something like that, or let's yep. see, clean utilities, uh, clean up. Check us happen at some point. This is just how involved. It, yeah, that you don't want to be absolutely. Question: Is the content free? A public yeah so yes it's, it's free the content is free publicly available you can use it show it to anybody um yeah if you subscribe to the channel there's a google classroom that offers some extra just resources and things um but yeah yep it is it is free and available see this to is the why you have to think this stuff through yeah this is why you gotta do this <laughs> that's <laughs> it is. exactly why gotta give you props on this any other language i'd write that that's fair that's fair i i'd love to learn python but i'm poor but i mean it's free it's 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 maybe he needs poor programmer maybe i don't know nah it's free yeah plenty of free python resources for sure um definitely not if you automate the boring stuff yeah. could you do it through the args like process.py new file old file yeah, yeah i could the problem is i'm generating the so like maybe i shouldn't maybe i shouldn't do this maybe i should pass in do what no 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 new file old file What's up, Anzuki? Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the family. Um, all right, we're just gonna do something real quick. I mean, I'm trying to make, I feel bad as a as someone who writes code daily. I wanna make it clean for future me, for future us to look at. I want to make it clean, but I can't. Oh, what, what's up, uh, Darisha? I, 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 okay. You, he sees me right now. I'm putting it on my list right now. Remove 10 minute. Uh, follower timeout. So basically, what happened is yeah, we, get rid of that. Yeah, we're removing it. We're uh, it's getting removed. I, it's on my list. He can confirm. It's on the list. It's on the list of things to do. Sorry about that. You typed it into a browser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Explain the <laughs> explain explain the issue again. Um, the issue right now is not. It's not. It's really not an issue. It's that the last thing we want to do is we want to. We've cleaned the list up. We want to check. Uh, yesterday's list to today's list and see if there are, a, we want to only get back the new email. So anything that's a duplicate, we don't want, um, but we want to take all the new emails and we want to get them together and write them to a file. We're trying to use this utilities function paradigm, which is fine. Uh, the only thing is we need both, we need to list of both things. Uh, we ha So we have the list, we have the, the today's list. We have today's list, but we don't have yesterday's list. So I think we'll just have to do like we should probably make this uh, args. Yeah, we we'll probably make, we should make this a a utilities function. That uh, uh, well, we're, we're just going to do this. We're going to, have to do this in here or in here. It doesn't really matter. We're going to have to open up the second file. I got you. Just literally just. But the problem is do it, huh? Throw another method to open up that file. Yeah, whether it's here or here, we're gonna have to open it up. Uh, some we're gonna have to open it up somewhere. Okay. Um, sub to DMV. Like a DMV, to welcome. What what up? What up? What up? What's up? J jumping more. Oh yeah, I've talked. You are a regular. <laughs> I I've seen your name many times. Um, you just want to get the new emails. You can set both lists and take the difference. Uh, either way, I still have to, even if I do that before I was doing that, either way, I still have to get, I still have to get email list two to actually be a thing. Um, the problem is we don't actually know the file name. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so that, well, it, it, in this, in this function, we don't know the file name, but don't matter. We're going to just put the file name in there. <laughs> we think, we're going to hard code this. This, this is, the, the, we're going to do this. Don't do this. Do not do this folks. <laughs> uh huh actually do this <laughs> copy do as we do no i'm joking no <laughs> i take this uh emails and append emails i'm going to yank this 
I'm going to paste this. Tested in production, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, you live on the edge, life rewards you. Die on the edge. <laughs> no. <laughs> life rewards you, man. No, I'm joking. No. We're just, we're having fun. We don't need to be, when you're learning, we don't need to be afraid of breaking things. Uh, so, we need to open. Oh, I got eyes. <laughs> huh? Oh, you're going to call it with the yesterday one. Yeah. So, like. Oh, this is so hacky. <laughs> this has so hacky. <laughs> we could take it a third R. Oh <laughs> or, or we could have. This call the the dupe. No, nah, okay. We're, oh. we're, just, we're just gonna hack it. We're gonna hack it. We didn't think this out very well. Uh, and actually, this would have been better. This we wouldn't have had this problem if we did this all in one file. If we did this all in one file, we wouldn't have this problem. So you don't want to always use the utilities function like this. Again, the the way you architect out the code. You may have thought when I started that I was doing something cool. I may have thought I was doing this a cool way and keep it clean. This makes it harder. Actually, um, this makes it harder. Um, sometimes it can. Um, so we're going to open up uh, clean, clean emails. Dot txt. Dot yesterday. Yeah. And call that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're only going to take in one email list. <laughs> Hack. Oh, that is the best. I love it though. Clean emails list. Um, and we're going to call this. Email list two, right? Just because Pilang. other than the parts in the args, I don't see another way, huh? Uh, Pylang, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I agree, I agree. Um, I agree. I don't, I don't, I don't, other than doing it that way, other than doing that way, I don't. So, we're just gonna keep the same paradigm that we already know. <laughs> Hold on, uh, save, save that for a second. All right, so we're gonna open up the the, the, the clean emails I texted yesterday as emails, we're gonna put that in the email list too. And then, yeah, all right. I actually think this is gonna be fine. That might work actually. Okay, but look at this, but, but check this out. Two. And then, this this looks like everything's on the wrong, oh no, that's right. So then after this, we can just call, write a file. <laughs> look at you, Steve, goodness. <laughs> If you just, <laughs> I mean, no, wait, wait, what was your, what was, ah. I love that. Why are you using a relative time indicator? I, we're going to make that an internet thing. We have to make that an internet thing. I'm just like, I'm just going to start responding to people with that. <laughs> you should have, yes, you are correct. I love that. You're correct. We, we know, we knew we were going to run into problems. We said you were correct and we wanted to save time. See, this is what happens in all projects. You do something to save time and then it costs it you costs more so time. time. It costs you more time every time. And you know what's worse about this? We as developers do this all the time, and then we never learn our lesson. <laughs> Not never, but like times like now. It, it takes longer than it should to learn that lesson. I know, sure. man. Definitely gonna buy that quote. That's I really. That's my. That's a really good quote, man. I'm not gonna forget that. Why are you using a relative time, time indicator. indicator? All right. So, uh, so we're just gonna write to file. We're gonna use our write to file function. Write a file function. And we are going to pass in. What does it take? It takes our list. So we're gonna we're gonna pass in new email list, and we're gonna pass in the file name, which is our new subscribers txt, and that needs to be like this. I think it's gonna do it. I think it's gonna do everything that we wanted to do. All right. <laughs> I'm going to yellow it. We're just going to run it. Let's go. So we're hoping to finally get this list. Which of, list is going to be bigger though? Isn't one list going to be bigger than the other one? I mean, the biggest list is going to be today's today's today's. Okay. And so we should be fine because yesterday is smaller. Yesterday is smaller. Okay. Uh, okay. Run it. Obviously it's not going to run first try. Ooh. First try run. Let's go. Epic. Oh, okay. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's because we never even called the function. Ever. We never called the function. All right. Oh, damn. Wait. That hurt my heart. We just wrote it and didn't call it. Oh, so we don't know if it actually works. Check for dupes. What are you running at? 25, uh, 2359. 
That's how I know. Oh, 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 oh. Well, it would work. It would work. Everything would work. All right, hold on. Let's get this right at first, and then I'll answer. I'll, I'll head back to the question. You got to throw me off. <laughs> All right. We never called it. So we wrote this file. We need to Did we call it before or after we write it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because we because we're using we're we're still you when are we Oh no 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 it does matter. It matters. It matters. Okay. When are we when are we re, when are we checking? We're checking during the right. We need to check before the right. Uh we need to check before the right. I have no idea. I'm gonna be real with you. Me neither. We'll do it both ways. And see, <laughs> and see if we get a different output. Hold on, let's think of this logically. This okay, is why, okay, this is why we need the iPad for yeah. the whiteboard. I know. Man. Okay, so we're checking the file. Today, okay. today's file comes in. There's yep. already a file that's yesterday. That so there's a there's a delta here. This has more items than it's this a, than this yesterday. item here. Okay. It's gonna go through, it processes all the information here. Okay. It, it it dedupes everything else. Before the right. Huh? Before the right. Before the right. Yeah. Why before the right? Because you won't want to write the duplications to the new file, right? No, no, no. So I, I think it needs to be after the dedupe. So it, needs to, it needs to happen after a dedupe. So clean email list yeah. is a clean list. Okay. I think it needs to happen here. So after everything's clean, we okay. have the list. Yeah. Because when it gets to the right, it's going to it's gonna rename the one that's current. Whoops, sorry. The, the one we just It's going to rename the one that's currently there. Yeah. But it has to happen before the right. It has to happen after the right, <laughs> because the new to date because because yesterday's list doesn't is not yesterday's list until the right happens. Right, I think I'm getting confused because you already changed it. You already changed the name of it. I'm doing it after. I don't know. <laughs> we about to find <laughs> we out. We about to find out. <laughs> you see how we're struggling over here? This is this is simple. It's it's really simple it's logic. Simple logic, it's simple logic. But my brain's not it's not grasping it right now. So what do we call what do we call? Uh, that's all right. This weather got me crazy sick. How you what? Utilities dot right to file check for dupes. What we called it. All right, and we need to pass in clean email list, and we hard coded the other thing. We did. Okay. All right. It's gonna run for. So hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Uh, what's up, Biggies? Uh, we're just we're messing around. We're scripting a thing that like uh, you 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 have a little you have a little you have an email list basically and. Uh, people sign up for this email list and it's basically just getting written to a text file. Um, and basically you need to uh, automate some processes every day to pull down that text file, uh, you know, clean up the list. You know, ooh. He's We're safe. Good. We're good. He's safe. We almost broke something over oh, here. Oh man. But we, don't, we need to run through that list. We need to dedupe it, clean it up. We need to, you know, uh, sanitize the data. So, you know, make everything lowercase, same case, uh, compare things, make sure there are no duplicates in there. Clean all that up. Uh, so we clean it up first. And then we only want to know, we want to get a list of the new emails that we have gotten since yesterday. Uh, so we're just doing a little bit of comparison to check uh, yesterday's list and today's list and see what new emails are there so that we can go ahead and email the new people who have subscribed to our stuff. So we're just, it's a, it's a theoretical thing. We're just messing around, learning how to use some of the things that we've learned so far to be able to automate some things. So we're real close. We're, we're real, real close here. Everything good still working? Yeah, I think we're you're, good. You're clumsy. I'm not like clumsy. Check for dupes. All right, let's see if it runs first try. Oh, it ran. Fire. It ran, and we have an art. Oh no, it's large. This is too big. Our new subscribers at TXT. I think that's way too big. That's definitely too big. <laughs> We're writing the wrong thing here. Uh, Five thirty-seven. So that's larger. It's a little bit smaller than the clean emails yesterday. So hold on. Let's take a look at our code because that seems like way too many. I didn't add that many. Did I? What? You only added 38. 38 uh, all right. What am I checking? This. I'm passing in. Raw email. TXTS email. Can we just. 
go through the code again just to, uh, from the beginning we'll go yeah. through the logic real quick Let's go through the logic real quick we'll go through the logic perfect that makes sense uh processor um utilities all right so this is the main this is the main code okay here <laughs> over here um so what it's doing is it's starting off by opening up our today's email list which is raw emails at txt gotcha um and then it's going to take all those things out of that that text file and it's going to pin them to a list it's going to pin them to a data structure that we can then utilize we, we can use that to manipulate and do the things that we want to do uh then we're going to use uh we need we need to clean up this email list again we need to remove new line characters we need to make sure there are no duplicates you know uh sanitize the data so we're going to pass that to an email cleanup function that we wrote over here this email cleanup function does the cleanup here sure about the character it's not perfect it's just a, it's just so you know we're just having fun here what's up worldly jh welcome to the channel thank you for the follow so after it gets written here um it gets passed back to here so it gets set to this clean email list. So now we have a clean list, a Python list of our emails for the day. Uh, what, oh, what's up, Greg, Grego, Grego 40. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Uh, so after that, we take that clean list and we go ahead and we write that to a file. Uh, so we go to this write a file thing and we say, hey, uh, we, we pass in a file name, uh, which is this clean emails.txt and we pass in the list and we check, we say, hey, is there a clean is there already a clean emails file here? Yes, if there is, go ahead and rename that dot yesterday uh, and, and then go ahead and write to this file. So create a new clean emails file with today's updated information, but also rename yesterday's information dot yesterday. Um, so this takes in the <clears throat> file we just read, does all that cleaning and then writes it out to a, to a new file with a pen as yesterday, with no. dot yesterday. That's what I just saw. No, it. What? It, it, well, the way no, <laughs> it takes in the the cleaned list, just the clean list that we just cleaned up. Yeah. It takes that and it takes in a file name. It just takes in a file name. Gotcha. It it checks if the file name that we passed in, it checks if that file already exists. So at this point, it's raw emails.txt. At this point, not raw, not raw emails.txt, clean emails.txt. Ah, clean emails.txt. <laughs> clean email. So it's checking if there's already a cleaned up file that's already there. I forget, could we pass in the file name right Yeah, there? clean emails.txt. Yeah, gotcha. It says, hey, is there already clean emails? Nope. Gotcha. Uh, yes, there is. Go ahead and rename that to yesterday. Yesterday. And go ahead and write us a new clean emails, uh, update clean emails.txt for today. Gotcha. So it does that. Then it does the check for dupes. And we, ta we pass in the same clean emails list pass it in here we open up clean emails txt yesterday yep that's the one we just moved renamed. we just, just renamed moved. okay and we open that up and we put that into a new list we put all the things that are there into a new list all emails too okay then we set up an empty <laughs> new <laughs> we set up a new this is the worst this way to do crazy. this we set up a new <laughs> email list right completely empty email list and then we we iterate through every item in the email list that we passed in, which is the new one, which is the new clean clean e one clean email gotcha. list. Okay, and we say if that email is in email list two, go ahead and continue. Go okay. ahead to the next. So let's focus on this part. So which one of these lists is bigger? Because we have to make sure. Let's just double check. I mean, the yesterday is going to be bigger, right? No, the, the, the new one's going to be bigger. bigger. It can't, yeah, people can't remove themselves from so the list. So we need only add. email and email list. Email. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. Logic, Continue. Yeah. And then new email list that append. Continue should, it should go forego. To the next it should go to the next iteration. Maybe those really are the differences between the list. Nah, dude. Because so if we do it again, if we run it again, we should get an empty file, right? We run it twice. We should get an we should get an empty new emails file. What, what, why is this? I, I no oh, look, 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 hold on, hold on. Why is this happening? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> we 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 broke everything. <laughs> we broke everything. We broke everything. Bro. Well, this is where you're right. Our news is smaller. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> it's smaller. <laughs> hold we on. Get new file. <laughs> Hold on, we're no, nah, nah, I can't stop. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> we're so we're, we're right there. We're right there. We're checking for dudes. Like we 
We're checking for dupes. Ah, uh, it's funny. Because it, maybe we shouldn't be using this right of using right of file again. The checks it moves it to yesterday. Yo, you know what's wild? Even more wild about this? What's up? It moves. We ran it once. <laughs> it moved it to dot yesterday. Yeah. And ran it again. And this file's bigger. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger. It should be the same file. <laughs> All right, we broke everything. Hold on, hold, hold on. on. Let's spend like another. Just give minutes. us a second. Yeah, give us a second. If you if you see the if you see the error in our way, shout it out. Let us know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we really should have planned this out. No, no, we should have planned this out. This is, <laughs> this is way better. Let's see. Okay, so this looks our emails. The for loop looks right. You continue on. You go to the next iteration. Um, is it the continue? No, the continue should work. It just goes to the next the next it, thing. The next iteration is this is this in the right spot yeah uh yeah that makes yeah maybe I, maybe maybe i should add an l maybe i should add a what a pass and then an else just to make sure it's not the continue it's not the continue this is right <laughs> same same <laughs> you're calling the same function for the new sub.txt so it's gonna make a new sub.txt so I'm, I'm okay with that i'm okay with it with it making a new um like yeah we're calling we're calling this again with the file name um uh, i'm okay i'm okay with it creating the yesterday file the problem is this is not it is not um it's not comp it doesn't seem like it's comparing properly we only have here here's what we're gonna do why are we writing the file at the end why are we writing a file at the end? Yeah. Because we because we want the new we want the list of unmatched things. Unmatched things. So let's do it with like just like three addresses. Like rather than do why is our new subs yesterday being made? It it shouldn't be made. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it shouldn't be made, but I don't think it's breaking anything. But you're right. And why the yesterday smaller, I don't have the slightest clue. I agree. It so <laughs> Yes, it should not be being made. It is being made for no purpose. I was just trying to use the same function we already wrote. So let's, you know what? Let's just not use this function and let's just make our own file. <laughs> so now we have this write a function file and our utilities file that's useless. <laughs> it's, it's not useless. It only has a single use. If you're comparing two lists, I would do some more research on how to do that. Okay, that makes sense. That's that that may be our problem. Um, that's probably our problem. But no, this logic is mm, not crazy. I don't see anything here. Obviously, it's there. More research on this. Look, 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 we, look, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. X equals oh, this is the research right here. Uh, yes. No. Aaron. Okay. All right. Uh, uh why? <laughs> equals yes comma two comma six all right okay. um uh oh you can call that a function from there no i wasn't um mm, damn it this didn't work how i thought it was gonna work i immediately thought i was gonna be able to do something can you do something like this? <laughs> oh, yes, you can. Okay. You can do this. Okay. okay. Cool. So why zero is an X? One. This should work. Whoops. This should work. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. So, so the, the, the comparison will work, but maybe we're not. Uh, see, hold on. We're gonna take this old school. Bam. Utilities, check for dupes. Or email and emails list one. So iterate through all of those. Here, here's what we're gonna do. Wait a minute. We're just ignore this. We're gonna just this x equals zero. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> email and It doesn't matter that they're both named the same, right? Or email, if email. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, no, yeah, no, no. Because we need to check. We need to use that. It, it, like, it needs to be named the same. Email. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... I 
I don't know what is happening right now. This is some. If email, we're taking this old school. This is oh, this. If, oh, the index. Yeah. Mm. If email and just increment this one. This is really old uh, school. X. In email list two, continue. Don't continue. Plus plus. If. You got a plus plus either way. Yeah. Okay. YOLO. <laughs> Wait a minute. Tell me <laughs> Don't look at it. Don't look at it. If I give you time to look at it, it won't work. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh whoops. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> where did it say I? Oh, I'm done. It's, oh, you know what? What's up? No. Is it pending and not uh writing? No, we changed it to a W. It's larger now. Uh, oh, that's what's uh, happening. No, this is what's happening now. Our logic's wrong. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. I'm. <laughs> wow, that's ugly. Um, <laughs> uh, no, 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 that's right. Is it not? It's not. It's just. X is outside of the. Why is it showing the same? Email is not set. set. Oh, 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 yeah, you got you, got you, got you, got you. Thank you. Got you. Uh, email list one X. Thank you. It's the same thing that it was before. Maybe it's right. Like maybe, like maybe we've been trying to fight this, but it's actually right. Oh, that's too much. That's too many. Is it too many? That's too many, man. Is it? Is it too many? That's how many new ones. I mean, I don't know. We didn't write the random implementation. Oh, we so can we check. Don't know. We, we can check. Actually, wouldn't that be crazy if we fight this the whole time? Do yeah. It right? Uh. <laughs> Don't Master mind salary minus 10k. <laughs> right, leave me alone. Leave me alone. This it's it's Terrence's fault too. Oh, I love it. Uh Oop, boom, got so, No, just you. Oh man. Clean emails that txt. So it should be these should be in today but not yesterday. Right? So sure. <laughs> So this is in today, <coughs> but it should not be in. This thing's not working. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> it's not working at all. Uh, this is exciting. Hold on, hold on. It, it's, hold on, it hold feels on, hold on, hold on, right. Hold on, hold on, yeah. Open this. It's What's just... your two lists? Cat them together. So are you and W. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that in a second. Hold on. Let's just look at it, Lama. Just for check for dupes function. There's something going on. I mean, obviously, everything else works. What's this? Open as emails. Every email. The script is butchered, but we're going to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get it right. We're appending to the email list, too. We're going to get it right. And then, well. Length of <laughs> plot thickens. Email list. Hmm. <laughs> now you guys realize why my. Uh, why if this is any indication of my Python code, now you guys see why my Google Classroom uploads are always problematic. <laughs> um, Look out for that GoLang tutorial. We are better GoLang Yo, developers. Better go, yeah. Yeah, um, but still, 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 this is like this is like not even this has nothing, nothing to, to do, do with that. Yeah, yeah, this is us just being. Uh, <laughs> I can claim it's getting late for me. It is. 
So, okay, so this part is fine. It's something up in here. Is that part fine? Yeah, we're just opening that thing, reading them in, and pinning to the new list, the email list too. So that should be fine. Then you have an empty list, and when you're iterating through the list they pass in, from every element in that list we pass in, you're making sure that it's, this does return a bull if this is in this. So if it's true. If the, oh. Just continue, don't write anything. What if it, maybe I should do it else. <laughs> like, if, uh, this, this, if it's in list two. Continue. Can you do a print here? Where? Just in here. Just so we can I see feel what's you. happening. I feel you. Smart move. Print. Uh, oh, it matter. I want to print. Definitely not that. Oh, okay. So you see the continue. Just, just print. Just to like, see what's happening. You, <laughs> yeah. You got a match, buddy. <laughs> All right, I like it. I like it. We add some print statement. We're gonna add some logs now. I don't know why we've done no logs. We got a single match. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's not iterating through everything. So that's not right. Okay. So it's not iterating through everything. So does it continue? It should go to the next while. Then it stops. Then it just. What's the length of email list? Are you doing it? Email list one is not one. Oh, we're going to get this. Mm -hmm. We definitely get this now. You want to know how premier engineers troubleshoot? That's right. Like this. That's how we do it. No, this, this no. is this is. I troubleshoot like this. I put log statements on. <laughs> oh, oh for sure, for sure. Sometimes I, I try to use debuggers now when I can. Uh, debuggers are better. Okay, it's perfect. So it's not running. Something's up with, up with that continue. Told you. Well, X is less than. What's up? Uh, zero in, plus plus. Is that Incane Dev? I went to it shows. Yeah, Incane Dev. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Watch us struggle through. Watch us struggle through some stuff. Rename email list one and two. That makes sense. I like that. Actually, hold on. Give me one second. One second, real quick. Uh, if we don't do a continue and we just do a, well, we can't just pass. Um, hey, listen. No. I will rename them in a second. What else? What else? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna rename email list one and two. Email list. Here we go. Look. Email list one. Two. One. Two. One. Two. One, two. What is, two. What's happening? Oh, I'm trying, trying to that? see. Oh, you're trying to see it. Got you. I'm trying to see. Make sure I don't have any odd. I could do an else if. But it's the same thing. The same thing. This is. It. If this is in this, do that. 38. You, then you increment X. One. Even if that didn't happen. While X is less than the length of that. Of one. 38. But even if it's zero or X is X is going to be less than that, le less than that length of that email list was five thirty eight. X while <laughs> I'm going to give up in a second. No man, hold on. It's so we're so close. Whoa, yeah, we're close right here, yo. It's got to be email. Email one, email one is today. Actually, you're right. Let's just do that. Uh, um, how do I do this? Uh, what do I do? What the heck, man? S, uh, email. Oh, uh, what am I looking for? Email list one, two, uh, two, today's list. Better not found. Email us one. 
Oh, did I do that wrong? How do I find our how do I find our place in, in Vim? I don't know. I know it's like I said. Uh Vim. Find our place all. Oh. Uh oh the percent. I, man, I always forget the percent. Uh so yeah, so colon percent s um now this one change that to today's oh actually am i using this anywhere else no, i don't think so no stop it stop don't 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 minus equals me i need oh my god look <laughs> I, I told you all I need a Corvette one day. I'm into motorsports. <laughs> I can't afford I can't afford a racing lifestyle. If you keep subtracting 10k from 10K. me, every time, every, every five minutes, every time I do something wrong, I make a lot of mistakes. You're gonna make a lot of mistakes too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start a. All right. So today's list is now today's list, and let's do the same thing. That doesn't make sense. Huh? That should just work. Email list two is now going to be yesterday's list. I don't even know if this is the right uh, which list is. Okay. Can you change one thing? Can you do while X is less than 10? Literally change from length. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Just a 10. So there should only be 10 things in there. You're right. Is Actually, let's make sure the size doesn't change. Oh, let's see. Twelve three seven seven. Okay, that that looks right, but it it wrote everything. Now my question is, but it only did ten. Okay, it did ten. Good thinking. So why didn't I see that printout ten times? Wait a minute. Why didn't I see you got? Why didn't I see? Oh, it did this one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We're not uh, yesterday's list. Email, bruh. No, no, this is right. That's right. For email in emails. So when it was less than ten, this happened, right? That logic. You this know what? Happened. You know what? 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 You know what? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Something silly. Oh my gosh! Ah. <laughs> uh. Clean yesterday. We didn't clean this list. We didn't clean it. We didn't clean it. Uh, clean yesterday equals uh, what do we call it? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my email gosh. Cleanup. Clean yesterday equals email cleanup of yesterday's list. Yeah, but what? Oh. Well, let me see. Hold on. I believe when I see it. Oh, change the 10 if you can. It did. It changed the 10. Oh, hold on. Because yesterday's list is not defined. Oh, uh, oh, wow. Oh, that spelled yesterday's list wrong everywhere? No. Yesterday's list. List that. <laughs> That's way smaller. Oh, it's, no, it's not. Uh,. It's not. Let's run the whole thing. I'm pretty sure this is the problem. I'm looking at the. I'm almost positive. Oh, oh, but then I need to. Then I need to use this. Clean yesterday's is not yesterday's list. It's. I uh, got it. This needs to be. Clean yesterday and wherever we see yesterday's list. That's right. Yeah. There we go. Well, want. no. No, it is what you want, right? That's, oh, we only did 10? Did we only, yeah, do, we 10? only did 10? That's exactly what we want. So change it, yeah. So I was like, why? Don't uh, I see that? Yeah. And it's zero. As uh, we figured it out. We figured it out. <laughs> we figured it out. There it is. All right, we got it. Uh, X is less than uh, the length of clean yesterday. <laughs> no. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Is that right? Or, or is it? Or is it today? Or today's list? Uh We want to check today's list. We want to check for everything. On yeah, today's, yeah, list. today's list. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Wax City. Okay, there, there we go. No, <laughs> it's zero. It was so yesterday's, yes, uh, yes. Yeah, so yesterday's, what? Yesterday's list was clean when we wrote it to a file, mm -hmm. but when we, I think when you read it back in, those new lines are in there because we joined it. We joined, joined that with file the with the new lines. Damn. That's why. That's why that didn't work. Um. So it was saying everything is. Unique. It was yeah. Even though it wasn't because they had a new line. Yeah. Oh. Yes, that is why first. we were we were joining with new it. lines. We were reading in the new file. Uh. What's up, Travis Haley? <laughs> we figured it out. Uh, it's oh still not. Goodness, it's yeah. still not working. But it's still not working because it's not working because we overwrote our yesterday and today is the same because we ran it so many times. We need to add a few more. We need to add some new ones real quick and then it'll work. <laughs> So we just need to add a few more randos. So generate us another 24. We're gonna generate 24 more emails. Copy. Gosh, that was frustrating. That's how it happens, man. Vim raw emails .txt. Go to the bottom. That's not the best way to go to the bottom, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, so now we have some more in here. Now we're gonna run it, and our new subscribers should go up. Here we go, moment of truth. Yeah. Yes. So, and now that we have our new subscribers yesterday, we can keep track of how many we got yesterday. And so we can vim. We did it. We have 24 new subscribers because those are 24 entries I just put in. So now, <laughs> after hours and hours of fighting with Python, we have determined how to do that. I can't believe we finally finished it. Good game. I like that. Good game. Uh, let's see. It, there's a lot it. of there's a lot of stuff here that did not pace well. Okay, uh, <laughs> that did not pace well at all. Um, yes, create a dictionary in the first line. He said to string email over the elements in the list. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, just wrote it here. Check this out. Uh, let me copy it. I stream from two different computers. So if you ever see me like looking at something else, but you don't see what's on my screen here, it's because I'm Thanks using two computers. So you got your two lists here. Dictionary, list A. Dictionary. Oh, for I, oh, for I and list A. So for each item and list A, um, everything is equal to one. If I and list B is going to loop through all these, if no, I man. is not in list A dictionary, but I think that's the same thing we're doing. Why? If I not in. Isn't that or yeah, yeah, same thing. I feel like the same thing. Oh, it just less complicated. Fair, fair, definitely. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot just for want to be explicit, but then the more explicit you are when the thing's not working, it makes it look wild. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put. I'm gonna push this up to GitHub. Uh, let's see. You can grab it uh, if you want. If you want to grab it. Um. Yeah. There's a bunch of. This is a bunch of. This is the dirtiest repo ever. <laughs> Pull of one. That's right. Uh, my mind is so geared towards performance. I don't know why. This, this is a terrible get message. Never do get messages like this. Bunch of new stuff. Don't do that. Be descriptive. Okay. Oh. Now you can get this from our GitHub. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> recap. Oh. Uh, Awesome. Um, yeah, we just had some fun. Um, had some fun going through a random scenario. You can check the files in GitHub um, to do a little bit of of scripting or automation. Again, this is a ridiculous. This is not a ridiculous scenario. It's a scenario that's 
unlikely, but there are a lot of times you're going to be, what, Python is really good for processing uh, text files, processing information, processing CSVs, very similar to what we did where you're bringing in uh, information, you're opening up files, parsing that information, uh, manipulating them into new data types, data sets, data structures, uh, so that you can do some cool stuff with them. Uh, and um, we got to practice using, you know, a mod, like our modules here. So uh, we got to use two different files to kind of do this in. We had our utilities.py, which was a terrible utilities PY. Um, <laughs> usually your utilities are gonna be kind of these standalone little tools and functions that you can use, uh, you know, throughout your code base. Um, but we could have also done this in one giant uh, file and maybe we could take some time another day and put it into one file to make it a little simpler uh, and to clean it up. A lot of this stuff, again, is we wrote everything very explicitly. Um, so there's, there's a ways to make this, even what we did here, we can make even this a lot shorter and fewer lines. Um, but I want, again, I wanted to be very explicit. So one, we can get the practice kind of doing different things and know what's going on. And so anyone who's going through this, even though it's already going to be confusing, um, we'll have a better chance at understanding, uh, what we did so that without having to go through all of that magic. Um, so yeah, so I hope, uh. I hope that was I hope that was fun. It was it was I think it was exciting to have uh fun. Yeah, I think it was great to have you here, Terrence, for that. I like I like everyone's uh everyone's help. Uh we got a we got a new tagline thanks to uh Yeasty Goodness. Uh, are you, <laughs> a lot of time indicator. Why are you using a relative time indicator? Yes. It's so good. It's really good. <laughs> it's my favorite. Uh oh, appreciate it. But yeah, does anyone have any questions? <laughs> Anyways, who have any questions for tonight? Um, before, before we log off, I gotta go. I'm glad it's the end of the week though. Whoops. What did I, I regret do? nothing. <laughs> Excellent. I, I, I love it. I, I love it. Um, but yeah, happy end of the week. Uh, well not end of the week. Today's only Wednesday, but end of the streaming week. Yeah, Thanks everyone. You're, yes. we're, we're, we're seven weeks down. Uh, we're down seven weeks, only a couple more weeks to go. Uh, we're about to, we're about to get into building some really cool things. Um, so it's all going to come to a head really, really quickly here. Uh, but it'll be fun and we'll keep building stuff. Um, I'll have some information about some new like weekend workshops coming up. Uh, so if anyone uh, wants to dive deeper into any specific tools and stuff, uh, mostly tools that we're using in the DevOps thing, uh, a Docker uh, workshop is going to be first. I'm going to do a weekend Docker workshop. Um, planning on doing a deeper Kubernetes one as well. Uh, things with Terraform. Um, might do some specific uh, programming ones like uh, like like API development ones and things like that. Uh, but a lot of a lot of different workshops coming aside from the actual boot camps themselves. What's up, Arad? Of this um, and thanks someone follow before that. Welcome, thank you for the follow. But yeah, we'll be doing. We're just doing a lot of fun stuff. Tune in when you want to tune in. Tune in when you find something that appeals to you. Um, if not, <laughs> no big deal. We just we're just gonna be on here having fun. And I am streaming on Friday. We're, I'm playing some games on Friday. Nice. If you're available, I'll probably start streaming around seven, maybe a little bit early, six thirty-seven. I'll just be on because I'm gonna be like, if, if I can play some games, I'll stay on as long as I need to play. Uh, we'll play some some <laughs> some games that everyone can play. Well, not everyone, but a couple people. We'll play some Jackbox TV games yes. too, and maybe we'll play some games I'm terrible at. Maybe some Rocket League and some Overwatch or something. But we'll just be here, like answering questions. If you have any questions about tech, industry, any, anything, we're just going to be chatting and just chilling on a Friday, winding down from the week. So if you're available, head on through. If not, no, no big deal. Run for president. I am not organized enough to do anything that is important. <laughs> so I, so I just, uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll just leave it all out there just like that. And absolutely not. Oh, uh, <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah. I had a lot of fun. Um, cool. We're going to head over to Dowright. Dowright's on. Um, we're going to head over to Dowright as we usually do. Say hello. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm actually going to stick around and watch for a while. I do like Dowright's channel. I've been learning a lot, um, from the people that we go, uh, watch after. Um, yeah, I think it's fun. That guy does need therapy. He does. He, Ooh. he does. He, <laughs> he does need therapy. I, I agree. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. We're gonna go to. We're, we're actually gonna go to Vape Juice Jordan tonight. I know it's a funny name, uh, but this dude Vape Juice Jordan uh, does a bunch of like JavaScript. He's he's a programmer. He actually works, I think, with the Prime again, like at Netflix, I believe. Um, yeah, I, I I found out about him not that long ago. Um, I don't watch his stuff that often, but maybe maybe he's good. If not, feel free to leave immediately. Either way, you can do whatever you want. Everyone here is 
has your own uh you can do whatever you want everyone just do whatever you want but have a good night have a good weekend i'll see everyone on friday if you want to come through if not no big deal see y'all later have a good weekend go say hi to wow that didn't work i did the, the slash wrong man i'm i'm really bad that. at this yo you do that <laughs> vape juice Jo uh, okay. <laughs> I, I deserve that one. <laughs> I deserve that one. Thank you. <laughs> Minus 5K. Oh. Head over to Vape Juice Jordan. Oh, Let's say what's dude. up. Um, and I'll see everyone Friday. Let's have a little bit of fun. Hey, I like that you guys can see me flaws and all. So see y'all later. See you guys.